Right, good evening everybody. Thank you very much for joining us uh, with these live streams. As always, please let me know if you can hear us and you can see us okay. Peter's joining me tonight. Hello. Arthur's going to be joining me. Hi. We're going to be doing a three-player game of Marrakesh. Now, this is number four game in the Steffenfeld City Collection. Uh, I've covered the three games over the three previous weeks. Uh, tonight is the big one. And when I say the big one, I mean that for a few reasons. First of all, it's the last one in the series and we're going out with a bang. Uh, the box is much bigger for this one. It is a much bigger game uh, physically than any of the others. It is a heavier game, I think, than any of the others. And although these videos have been sponsored by Queen Games, please bear in mind that I am a gamer. I've been a gamer my whole life. Steffenfeld is one of my favourite designers uh, and I've got more of his games in my collection than anywhere else. And I'm going to say it now, this is right now my current favourite Steffenfeld game. It used to be Trajan, but having played this a few times recently, yeah, so there we go. There's there's my personal opinion on the game right out there. <laughs> I'll just get that. Uh, I'll get that clear. So we're going to be explaining how we play the game while we're playing it tonight. We've all played it before. We played a test game this afternoon, um, and yeah, I'm going to be explaining it as I say as we go. There are some things that I am going to explain up front. Now, Arthur, you wanted to know a bit about the theme of the game, so shall we read the introduction? Yeah, why not? So uh, there is a lot to be done in Marrakesh using our assistance to increase our influence in the. Kutobia Mosque and the Bah Bahia Palace profit from the wisdom of the scholars captured on valuable scrolls. Roam the souks to haggle with the merchants over precious luxury goods. Go to the marketplace Gemma Elfna with its water vendors, storytellers, snake charmers, and jugglers. Find oases in the Sahara and navigate the Tensif River. But overall, don't forget to pay the people and provide sufficient dates and most of all water. Um, so this city is in southwestern Morocco, known as Pearl of the South was founded in the year 1070 AD and is one of the country's four royal cities. Um, there we go. Now, ultimately, because this is a Euro-style game, we're going to be collecting points. We're going to be playing the game over three seasons, and it will be the player with the most points at the end of the game that wins. Each season is divided into four rounds, and each round is divided into four phases. I'll give you a very high-level overview of, of what's going to happen. At the start of the game, each of us, behind our little screens, has got 12 keshis. One of each colour. So we've all got that. We've all got 12 keshis. And over the course of the season, in the four rounds, we're going to be picking three of those keshis and we're going to be revealing them. They then get dropped into the tower and we will then draft the keshis that come out of the tower. So you won't necessarily get your ones that you put back in. You could take your own back. You could take somebody else's. Um, but the three that you choose to use for that round indicate where your assistants go on your player board. So you can see each of us has one of these player boards. It's a very big player board. Uh, and you will basically activate those three sectors in that round. Um, so yeah, we play four rounds. In each round, you're going to use three of the caches. So all 12 caches will be used in the first season. Then there is a little bit of end of season stuff. Then we get 12 new caches and we, we go into season two. If we just take a quick look at my player board, it starts off pretty empty. But what we're going to be doing over the course of the game, we are going to be taking these caches and we're going to be placing them into the relevant areas. Now that's going to build up these areas and we're going to get points at the end of the game for every area which is uh, which is complete. But then when we start activating these areas, they all do different things. Uh, and the more powerful the activation is, uh, it's based on how many caches are in the area. So the bigger an area is, the more powerful effect we're going to get from it. So there is some random setup that we've done at the start of the game. Each player gets six of these Oasis tiles. Uh, these were chosen at random, so none of us know what we've got. These will need to be discovered during the game, uh, and they might then possibly be worth points at the end. We've got two random caches here in positions one and four uh, of that track, and we also have three of these tiles. These are called, let me just remind myself what they're officially called, provision tiles. So we've each been given three of them. And what you do, out of the three that you've been given, you choose one of them. So I've chosen this one. This means at the end of the season, I'm going to have to provide my people with two dates and one water. If I don't, I'm going to lose four points. Then what happens is that tile is going to stay there. And at the end of season one, I'm going to take another tile. I choose which one. That's going to go there. And then at the end of season two, I need to provide everything or I lose eight points. And at the end of season three, I'm going to have to provide everything on all three tiles or I lose 12 points. So, yeah, that's one of the things that we're going to have to be doing. But we've got all season to do that. Right. We've also got the knowledge tiles. These were randomized. We've also got uh, up here, we've got the 32 gates. So there's 32 gates in the game. And these are the deluxe pieces. 
So if you've got a copy of this game and the, you don't have these nice wooden pieces, then this is the deluxe version of the game. These were randomised and put into four sets of eight. Um, up there, we've got the current river scoring tile. So this is going to be the river scoring tile for uh, the end of season one. And we have visible, the end of season scoring tiles for, for two and three. These are the three scoring tiles that are recommended for your first game. But once you've played the game once, you probably want to mix them up and, and choose which one you want. So that's the other random setup. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, there was one thing about the player board. This is an audience disc. At the start of the game, you can choose where that goes. Now, the first time you play it, you might just want to put it somewhere random because it doesn't really matter. But have you two actually chosen where yours has gone? I have, ba yes. Based on what's happened in the previous based game? Based on our limited experience. Yeah. Okay, well, I, I'm, I'm going to do the same with mine and I'm going to put mine, I'm going to put mine there. So yeah, you can choose where this starts. I think that's it. I think that's that. That's the setup done. So as I say, we'll explain the rest of the rest of the rules to you as we uh, as we go along. But we are about to start season one. Oh, we all get one water, uh, one date, and one coin. Three resources in the game, and each player starts with one of each. So yeah, season one, round one. I've been decided that I was the start player. So the first thing we do, phase one of the round, is we each select three keshes to use. So we'll do that, and then we'll explain to you what's going to happen. Oh, Arthur's already in. Um, see, at this stage, it's different, because later on in the game, when the board has been developed, I've actually got some choices to make. Right now, I'm thinking, well, I don't really know. <laughs> um, so I think I'm going to take that, I'm going to take that, and I'm going to take that. Right, okay, so I've chosen my three. Okay, so we all do this simultaneously. Okay, and then what happens is we all reveal. Now, the first thing we now do, if we look at my player board, I have chosen green, uh, sort of light brown and pink. So each player has three assistants. And what we need to do is we need to place those assistants into the relevant area. So I've chosen green, which goes there. I've chosen pink, which goes down here. And I've also chosen the light brown, which goes here. Now, if I'd have chosen either orange, purple or yellow, the assistant would have gone here. And in fact, if I'd have chosen, I could have chosen purple, orange and yellow, in which case all three assistants would go here. The other exception is the red one. When somebody chooses the red one, we'll explain what happens, because you may notice there is no red area on the board. Right. So once we've all done that, one player, which is me, collects these and then we're going to throw them into the tower. Now, the tower has got these cardboard dividers in. So like a lot of towers, some of them might come out, some of them might not come out. Let's see what comes out. OK, have they all come out? I think they've all come out. Yeah. So sometimes you do get the occasional one that gets stuck in there. But most of the time, most of them do seem to come out. One goes there, that one goes there. Right, OK. So that was phase one. Phase two, in player order, so starting with me, I get to choose up to two of the same colour of keshes, as long as I can take them. Now, at the start of the game, we can all we can all take them. So I need to choose. I can either take the two greens, and basically taking two is generally better than taking one. And at the start of the game, it probably doesn't matter which ones you want. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the two greens. Now, green ones, pink ones, and brown ones have what's called a placement or a deployment bonus. So every time you take a green one, you place it in this green area here. And you'll notice this. This means a number one. So uh, this means one point. So what I do is as soon as I put those in, I actually score two points. So yeah, the green ones, the brown ones, and the pink ones all have an immediate deployment bonus as soon as you put them onto your player board. One thing I did want to mention, you will never, ever take caches and put them behind your screen. Okay. So the 12 caches that you start with behind your screen, they are the ones that you're going to be using for that season. Any other caches that you gain, you don't put behind your screen, you put directly onto your player board. Right, Arthur, you're next. What would you like to take? Two brown, please. So Arthur's taking the two brown. Okay, so the brown ones, I'll show you my player board, but the brown ones start off here, and you can either go up this way, or you can go up this way, or you can go down here. So these are all oases that you haven't discovered yet. This is one that you have discovered. But your first brown keshi can either go here, or it can go here, or it can go here. If you start on this route, your second one could then go there, but you don't have to continue that route. You could 
You could go down here if you wanted to. And the deployment bonus for a brown one is if you deploy a Keshi at an oasis, you discover that oasis and you flip the tile over. If you place a Keshi here, you get any two resources. And once you've gone there, you could then go there for two points. So Arthur has gone to both of his starting ones and flipped those over. Now, the Oasis tiles are end of game scoring tiles, but only if you've claimed them. So Arthur has discovered those two Oasis. At some point later in the game, he can claim them. When you claim them, you move them to this part of the board and then they will be worth points at the end of the game. Okay, so that's you taking your, your two caches. I'll take the, the, um, the pink the one. The pink one. So the pink one is the third one that's had a, got a deployment bonus. Again, I'll show you my player board, but whenever you take a pink keshi, you place it on any of these spaces around here, and you see where it says one times, you then get the bonus that's printed next to it once. Ignore the number of spectators here for the deployment bonus. So if you've gone here, you get two points. If you go here, you get one water. Here, you move up the palace, etc., etc. So you just get it once. And you're going on the river space. So Peter is going to move his fisherman one space on the on the river track. Right, back to me, and I'm going to choose to take white. So a white one doesn't have any deployment bonus. I just pop it here in the palace. Oh, this is good. I'm going to get one extra um, Keshi this turn, aren't I? I'll take this one. Yep. Okay, so that's a guard that goes in the watchtower. And uh, orange. Take an orange. I'll take a purple. So a quick note: the orange ones, the yellow ones, and the purple ones—they all go in this area, which is the souk. This is the place where you're going to be buying and selling goods. So these actually represent goods, uh, and you're going to be trading them for commodities during the course of the game. And these these can stack up. You can you can basically have multiple ones in an area. Right. That's phase two done. Phase three, we do it in turn order. So I am the start player, I'm gonna take my turn and I'm gonna use my three assistants. And whenever you use an assistant in an area, uh, in a sector, you've got two choices. So let's let's go, and the order in which you do them is up to you, because it can be important. But let's, first of all, I'm gonna activate this pink sector here. The two choices that you have is, one, you can either add a Keshi of the appropriate color to your area, or two, you can perform the action of that sector. Now, the reason I'm saying this is an easy choice for me is I currently don't have any pink caches, which I believe are entertainers, in this area. Therefore, my choice is obvious. I just take this assistant of, I take one pink cache from the supply, and I place it somewhere around here, and I get that bonus immediately. And I'm going to take the bonus of... Um, I'm going to go on here. No, I'm not. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. So that gets me one times a date. So I'm basically going to take a date from the supply and I put it there. Uh, yeah, that's that's that action done. Right, next, I'm going to choose this assistant. Now, this assistant is in the light brown area, which is where the guards go. And again, this is a really easy choice for me because I don't currently have any guards. So my action is very simple. I just remove the assistant. I take a guard, put him in the watchtower. OK, now the third one down here, I actually have a choice here. I can either remove the assistant to take another date picker, which would get me another green Keshi and would get me one point. That is that is one option. The other option is that I could actually perform the uh, I could perform the action of this sector, which is these are date pickers. So believe it or not, is I pick dates. And what I do is I get a number of dates equal to the number of Keshis that I have. So I could, if I wanted to right now, take take two dates but actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take another Keshi so I get one point and that is my three actions done right Arthur you get to do your three okay I'm going to uh, do this one and I'm going to take a Keshi you're going to take another one so the caravan area or the Sahara area your two options are take another Keshi which is what Arthur's doing or you could claim any number of oasis We'll explain that when somebody does it, but basically you pay the costs for the Oasis tiles and you move them from that area to this top track here. And I get two water. Arthur's gone on there and take any two resources that you want, which could be the same or they could be different. Oh, ah. Yeah, it's it's two resources. So what would you like? Uh, uh, oh, okay, that's uh, bamboozled me. Okay, money will be a good thing, mm -hmm. followed by more money. 
More money. <laughs> okay. So that's your first assistant used. Yeah. Uh, next one. That that's an easy one because you don't have any date pickers. That's right. And, 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 and in the palace as well. Okay. And this is how the game's going to go at the start. You're going to find that you're going to be using your assistants mainly to gain caches, unless there's a specific reason you want to do something. But later on in the game, you're going to see us activating these areas and we're going to be getting a lot more bonuses from them. Right, Peter. Uh, I will activate yeah, yeah, him. A caravan cache. Yeah. And I'll place it here and I'll take two water. Any two resources, yeah. Uh, so that's him. Ah, but you've now got two caches, uh, sorry, two assistants uh, in the souk area. Do you know what you want to do with them? Yes. Okay. Uh, one of them, I'm going to place another orange. Yeah, so with each assistant that's in the souk area, you can use it to either take an orange, a purple, or a yellow keshi, which represents goods. I think it's lanterns, carpets, and something else that I'm just going to look up. What's the orange ones? Orange ones are spices. Okay, well, okay. Um, I think two uh, barrels of spices is yep. going to now be traded for that tagine in okay. the corner there. So I'll just show this part. So this is the bottom part of the board. Now I need to I need to just come down a bit. Hang on. Here we go. This is the bottom part of the board here. So your other option when you're using uh, an assistant in the souk is that you can buy one of these luxury items. You spend the goods that is printed on the top, and then you take the tile and you get the benefits that's printed at the bottom. Alternatively, you could use this. Now, you can only do one of these things for each assistant. So, Peter used one assistant to gain an orange cashew, to gain some spices, and then you're gonna use your second assistant to buy this. Yes. So you spend the two orange, which is the spices, you gain four points, and you gain two dates. So that's yours. Now, you keep this tile face up near you because there are certain things in the game which means they might be worth points at the end of the game. And after Peter has done his turn and finished all of his actions, we then reveal the next one from the pile. And that's it. That's that's the end of the first round. Well, no, that's phase three. Phase four is the river bonus. So there is a river bonus awarded at the end of every round of the game. So not every season, but every round for any player who has passed one of these rapids. So if you've passed a rapid, then you can choose one of the rewards uh, that you've got to. So currently nobody has passed any of the rapids, so nobody gets any rewards for the end of round one. Paddling as hard as I could. Yeah. So that's it, that's the end of round one. Now, just before we continue, there was something that I did want to mention at the start. We're gonna hopefully play today with the correct rules, but as always with the live streams, usually me, I, I will make some kind of play mistake. I will forget to add a point or something like that. So obviously if you're watching this live and you spot us making any mistakes, please let us know in the chat and we will try to rectify it and fix it. But if you're watching this back afterwards, I would recommend that you turn on the subtitles and change them to the Klingon channel. Because what I'm gonna do is if any mistakes are found in this play after the video has gone live, what I will do is I will add some Klingon subtitles into the video uh, to pick up on any errors. Um, yeah. There we go. Right, round two. Speaking of errors. Speaking of errors, what have we done? 1103 says green has a mistake on the board. There is no green player. Oasis oh. and Cash in the wrong place. I don't know what that refers to. Uh, so Peter's the green player. Oh, you are green. Okay. Yeah. Is there a mistake oh. on the board? Ah, that shouldn't be there. Thank you very much. Well spotted. From... That was left over from the game that we played this afternoon. <laughs> So you're just testing the system. He's just he's just testing the system. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Ulrich. Ulrich's the developer of the game from, from yeah. Queen Games. So, uh, yeah, we did play it this afternoon, and I thought I'd managed to clear everything up. Um, yeah. Oh, by the way, I start with 100 extra points. Yeah, just <laughs> just, just, just have Right, round two. Oh, camel passes on. So the camel passes on at the end of each round of the game. And we now pick three new caches. Ulrich saying the red cashew has to go back to the first spot. That one. Oh yeah, yeah, that should be there. Thank you. So this middle spot is only used in a two-player game. In a two-player game, each player will have three caches on the board. Uh, but in a three or four-player game, you start with two caches. And these were randomised out of a, a set of eight at the start of the game. Right, so I've got some ideas of what I want to do. And I think it's going to be that. And it's going to be that. 
No. Yes. Yes. And I think it's going to be... Um, it's going to be that. Okay. I got my three. Sorry. Yeah. Right. Reveal. Anybody got a red? I have a red. Okay. So if you two want to do yours as normal, I'll explain to people what happens with the red. So first of all, white means I'm going to put an assistant in the palace. Then brown means I'm going to put an assistant up in the Sahara. So the red means I can put an assistant anywhere. Now I can't obviously put it in white or brown because I've already used those this turn, but the red one is a wild card and that allows me to basically go to an area uh, and use that area a second time in the season. So I'm actually going to go, I'm going to go down here again. I'm going to go to the green area. Right, and then these all go in and we'll see what comes out. And who's the start player this time? Me. Oh, there's the start player. Right, let's have a look at the tower and see what we get. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one of them stuck in. The one of the great one of the. Uh, the ones you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, so we need to be careful not to knock the table. But there we are. That's where we are, and it is Arthur to choose first. I'll have the two You're going to have the two guards, are you? Mm -hmm. There you go. Have so the two guards. Paid a heavy you. cost last game for having enough guards. Uh, I think I might go for the blue one. Yeah, I'm going to go for the white one. Pink for me. So you get a deployment bonus of pink. Where would you like to put it? Good question. I think I'm going to put it here. Okay, that's one space up the river. So we didn't mention this earlier. There's going to be a lot of rules that we drip feed you as we go along. But whenever you move your fisherman into a space where somebody is already there, you go behind them. Because the order in which players are on the river is important for the end of the season scoring. Yellow for me. I'm going to take brown and I'm going to get a deployment bonus of... I'm going to explore here. We've discovered this tile. So just to give you an idea of what the tiles do... This tile says, at the end of the game, as long as I have claimed this oasis, I'm going to score six points for every necklace that I've got. Now, a necklace is one of the luxury items. And just before Ulrich corrects me on this, you can only score three of your oasis tiles at the end of the game. So even if I claim all of these, I can only choose three of them, which I can score at the end of the game. And after you get the grey one. And then it is you to take your actions first. Did the red one come out? That's the one that got stuck. <laughs> the red one got stuck. So we, we're not going to explain the red caches are water vendors. Uh, we'll explain them when they come out. Yeah. So I'm going to activate the um, okay. container. And are you going to take a new pink cache? No. I right. Do. Okay. So, so I, I need to explain how this area works. So Arthur is activating this area. And as, as always, you can either take a new pink Keshi and place it anywhere or perform the action of the sector. And the action of this sector is that you first rotate your audience disc one space clockwise. So I'm just going to rotate mine now for the example, but I will try and remember to rotate it back. And then you choose any of the areas where you have a Keshi and you get the bonus printed there multiplied by the number of spectators. So if, if I was doing that action right now, I would rotate the audiences there, and I would gain three dates. But it's not my turn. It's Arthur's turn. You've rotated, and you get three steps up the river. That's right. One. That's me. Good. <laughs> because you're not going far enough. One, so one, two, two three. three. Now, as mentioned earlier on, uh, these rapids, you don't get the bonus of those rapids when you pass them. But at the end of this round, in fact, at the end of every round... Uh, Arthur is going to be able to choose to get either this bonus, which is one point, or this bonus, which is any one resource. And these do not get reset at the end of the round. They only get reset at the end of the season. So what happens is you move up as the as the season goes on, and you will get the benefits at the end of each round. So my fisherman's going to steal some... There was another thing about moving up the river that we almost forgot in the last game. So any time in the game that you are moving up the river, through any means whatsoever... You may spend one water to move one extra space. 
two water to move two extra spaces, etc., etc. So the more water you've got, you can spend it to move further up the river, but only when you're moving up the river through another means. Right, next one. Okay, so the guard. Activate the guard. Okay, and are you taking another guard, or are you going to perform the action of the guard area? I'm going to perform. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. <laughs> I was assuming there was a grey gate. There is. There's a grey gate yeah, there. It's not very exotic, There right, so and there. Too many. Okay. Um, yeah, all right. I, 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 I'm going to do the action. Okay, which means I just need to explain how this action works. Again, there's going to be a lot of this at the start of the game. So the action in the light brown area is that you can basically buy gates. Now, the gates, as mentioned at the start, they've been randomly divided into uh, four sets of eight. And whenever you buy a gate, you can choose which section you want to buy from. If you buy from this section, it costs you no money, but you lose three points. If you buy from this section, it costs you one money, you get one point. This section is two money for three points. And this section is gold-plated gates, costs you three money, but it's going to get you seven points. Now, you can buy one gate for each of your guards that you have in your watchtower. So Arthur has three guards in his watchtower, so you can buy up to three gates. Which gate do you want to buy first? Uh, well, I think I'm only going to buy one gate, as it happens. Um, okay. Which is going to be this grey gate. Okay. Uh, which costs two money. So it costs you two money, and you immediately get three points. Now, Arthur can place that gate on any of his gate spaces. Let's just have a look at my player board. You can see the gate spaces. They are all around the border of this area here. So you can place a gate on any of the spaces. But if you colour match, you get two points. So why wouldn't you want to colour match? Well, the other reason is every time you build a gate, you are going to gain one Keshi of the colour of the gate. So Arthur, you've taken a grey gate, which means you are going to get a grey Keshi. Mm -hmm at the end of your turn, okay. but where do you want to put the gate? Going here. You are going to put it on the grey space. Okay, yeah. so that gets you an additional two points. And then what you have to do is you have to deploy one of your guards to that gate. That guard is then stuck at that gate, guarding that gate for the rest of the game. And now you place your grey Keshi. And then, activate this area. and then you're going to activate the university. I think it's the university. Um, and again, are you taking another scholar or are you going to perform the action. What, what are the... Oh no, is, this, is that here? Yeah, yeah. It is here, yeah. It, okay. it, it, it's all of yeah. these. So, so this will give me a... A brown keshi, brown keshi purple keshi. Purple keshi. And this means whenever you cross a threshold on either the palace or the mosque, you'll get an, one extra coin. Okay, and this is going to cost me a date each. Yeah. Which I, you I have, have dates, as it happens. Are you going to do it? Yeah. Okay, so we'll explain this action. <laughs> so the grey action uh, is basically um, scholars. The grey keshis, I think, are scholars. And what happens is each one of them gives you, I'm calling it a knowledge point. So Arthur has two grey scholars, which means this turn he's got two knowledge points. And he can buy, with those knowledge points, any number of these scrolls. Now these scrolls at the bottom will cost one, you can see in the, in the top left. These cost three, these cost five, and these cost seven. Arthur has two knowledge points, so he can buy one or two of these. I'm going to buy those two. Now, yeah. the cost of buying them, these cost one date, these cost one date, these cost two dates, and these cost three dates. Arthur has two dates, so he spent the two dates, and these have an immediate effect on. Can I just borrow one of them? I'll show you on my player board. So this is one of the tiles that Arthur's just bought. You can see here, it's using one of those knowledge points. It's going to cost him one date. It's got an immediate effect. And the immediate effect is he's going to gain a purple keshi. So you gain one purple and one brown and one brown keshi, which you immediately place. And of course, the brown keshi has a deployment bonus, so it can go either there, there, or it can go down there. Okay, and you discover that something's worth two. Oh, shoes, slippers. Every slipper that you have at the end of the game is worth two once you've claimed that oasis. And that was the last so that was a pretty one. epic turn because you did three new actions that we haven't explained. So we've probably explained more than half the actions now. Um, right, Peter, your go. Which one first? Uh, this one. Mm -hmm. I will sell the uh, yellow uh, to get a water and a 
data. Okay, so Peter is using his assistant, selling one lantern uh, on this tile here. Now, this tile is going to change each season. So this season, lanterns can be sold for a water and a date, carpets for a, a money and a water, and spices for a date and a money. So selling that gets a water, gets a date. I'm just going to check to see if it is a lantern. It's a lamp. I was almost right. <laughs> What is the technical difference between a lantern and a lamp? There you go. Question for the lamp, I think a lamp is... Mind you, both are, both are holdable, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Let us know in the chat. Let us know what the difference between a lamp and a lantern is. Uh, he will simply get me a single get, guard. Get guard. Yeah. It goes there. Um, now, this uh, fisherman... Yeah. What are you going to do? Are you going to move? Or get another... Mm. While you're thinking, I'll, I'll explain the action in the blue area, because this is actually really simple. Peter's choice is he either takes another blue Keshi, which is a fisherman, or he moves his boat one space forward for every blue Keshi he currently has. I'll have another fisherman. You're going to take another one. And that, that's really what that fish. action does. And remember, every time you move the blue Ke uh, every time you move the fisherman up there, um, you can pay water to move extra. Right, the blue ones are actually fish. So that's the fisherman, and the blue keshes are actually fish. You're all done? Yep. My go. Um, I'm actually going to use this one to take another date picker, which gets me another point. I'm going to use this one to take another caravan, which I'm going to put... Uh, I'm going to put here. No, I'm going to put here. So this this is actually a date picker and not a date? No, that's a date. That's a date. Yeah, a date picker is the green cashy. Oh, him. No, that. Okay. This is like a date, date orchard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because you, you placed a, a date picker just now. I did, and I got a point. I'm just wondering how you did that. I thought it... Because I, I had an assistant there. Oh, right, sorry. So, okay. okay. I only looked at it when, you, when you'd gone. So, I've got that. Uh, and then I've got the palace. Now, I'm actually going to do the action. Okay, so the action of the palace and the mosque are the same. Remember, I can use the assistant if I want to, to take another white keshi, which is a noble, but I don't want to. I'm actually going to use the action of the palace. And what the action of the palace is, is that I can move up on the palace a number of spaces equal to the number of keshis that I've got. So, if we have a look at the palace and the mosque tracks, this is the bottom of the tracks. We have the palace here and we have the mosque here. And each of us starts off uh, with a piece at the bottom. So I've got two white keshis, which means I can move up two spaces. Now, every time you cross one of these thresholds, some two things happen. First of all, I gain a coin. It's always a coin for crossing a threshold. So I gain a coin. But then, and this is a clever mechanism that I've not seen before in games, I then get one of the bonuses on the line between the section that I've just entered and the section where my other person is. So in other words, I've got one in this area and the other one is in this area. That's the line in between. So I can now choose either one coin or I can move up on the river or I can get one water. Uh, and I'm actually gonna choose the water. So I take a water and I put it on there. So basically, as you advance these up, the rewards get higher and you're gonna get the bonuses on the lines between the areas as you move them up. Uh, yeah, which is quite cool. So that's it. That's my turn done. End of the round. We have some rewards. So on the river, yellow has passed those two rapids and can choose to take either one point or one resource. What would you like? I'll have a resource. Um, I think it's got to be a date under the circumstances. Okay. Right. That's it. The camel passes. And then we do round three. Okay, so. Um, now, I want to have a look at these. Are there any necklaces on display? There are no no necklaces on display. Uh, what do I need? Yeah, one tip is you might want to put your resources onto your provision tiles just so you don't actually accidentally spend them. Now, remember... If I don't spend those three resources at the end of this turn, what's going to happen is I'm going to lose all of my resources 
and also I lose four points. So it's kind of in your interest that you do want to pay for him. So what I like to do is I like to put the little resources on there. They're still mine. I can still spend them for something if I really wanted to do, like Arthur did. Um, but I need to remember to try and replenish them. So I'm just going to put them on there just to remind me. Uh, right, so I'm going to take that one, that one. Oh, should have revealed these. At the end of the turn, reveal the new ones. Okay, that one, that one, and that one. Okay, anybody putting any reds? Nobody's picked any reds? Okay, so I'm going yellow, grey, black. Right, and we know there's still a red in there from the previous turn. Let's see if it comes out. No, it's stuck in there. <laughs> Never to be seen again. Never to be seen again. Yeah. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's another one that's stuck in there. Uh, and who's picking first? Eight. Peter is picking first. Oh, I'll stop looking at the ones I'm looking at then. Mm. <laughs> I'll take those two They're blacks. not going to be there. Um, oh, well, I wasn't going to, but, but since you've forced me into it, I'm going to take these two uh, lamps. Not lanterns, lamps. <laughs> Okay, and immediate deployment bonus of? Date. A date, okay. Okay, I'll take the green one. That gets me another point. Okay, right, go, go done. Action. Actions. Starting with Peter. Would you like a date picker? I would, thank you. Gets me a point. One space up on the palace, or take a new noble. I'll take another. There you go, another noble. Yes. And then um, would you like a new entertainer, or would you like to rotate it and move three steps up the river? I think... I'll rotate it and move mm -hmm. three steps up the river. Okay. That's the reason I placed this in. This so one, movie. two, three. You move on to the space, so you go behind. But do you want to spend some water? Four waters. Four water. Wow. Yes, me. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So end of season. The water must be better than I thought. Okay. Nice. <laughs> and you're all done. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so me, I've got this one. I have no options. I'm just going to take. A grey scholar. That's what I meant to take. I meant to take a great scholar and buy that. And I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take a black cleric. Now this one, I'm. I only don't know whether to save up for when the necklaces come out because necklaces are worth six points for me, but they're really expensive. The necklaces they're like they cost five goods each. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure. My other option was to spend yellow to get water and dates because I know I'm going to need then again I'm going to be alright for dates so yeah I think what I'm going to do I'm just going to take an orange I'm going to invest in the future there you go I just took three caches hey. <coughs> it's me yeah uh, so fisherman will get a fish fisherman gets a fish as I can't compete with that no, and there's no point you moving one up, no, or even two, in fact. Um, that guy will get a cleric. Yeah. There you go. So, as I say, at the start of the game, certainly in the first season, you're going to see a lot of this. You're going to see a lot of removing assistance to gain caches. And then starting in the next season, we're probably going to be doing more actual actions. Although Arthur's done quite a few already. What do you know I do with the guy in the souk? I don't know... I'm pondering. You could trade that purple for a coin yeah. and a water. Yeah, I'm desperate for a coin. Might be. Yeah, I'll trade it for a, you did it. a coin and so a water. You get a coin and a water. 
Got it? Okay. And that's it. That's the end of round three. So again, we go to the river. Green, you can get either one point, one resource, or a purple, orange, or yellow cashew. Another water. Okay. And yellow, you can get a point or a resource. I'll have a date. Right. And now we do the fourth round. So this is the last round of the first season. This is not actually a long game. I mean, it is going to slow down in seasons two and three. Hmm. Right, we have two red keshis. Now, remember what I said about the red keshi in the... Oh, the camel should be with me. Um, you decide where to place your assistant. The red keshi counts as a wild. If more than one player uses a red keshi on the turn, you should do it in turn order because Peter might want to see where Arthur's placing his assistant before he chooses where he's placing. I've got blue, I've got orange, and I've got purple. That's me. So where are you going to place your wild one? Yeah. Blue. What is this end of river reward? Uh, you basically choose a sector and activate it as if you had an assistant there. Mm. Although Peter is probably going to because you know, what I was thinking was I could um, I could I could put it on here for example and move forward three, but he, he'll have the option to move forward. I uh, don't think you'll be able to move forward three on the mm. river with your... Well, no, because it oh, would rotate it once. Oh, yeah, 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 You'd yeah, get yeah, one. Yeah. Okay, well, I shall dismiss that now because <laughs> it's a mad assumption. Uh, right, so... I think... I'd like... Uh, one more information. Mm -hmm. Go on, I'm over. Okay, right, let's pop them in. So, lots of reds. Are we going to explain what the red ones do? They're really important, well, but none of them have come out yet. One, one, well, I suspect at least one's going to come out. Going to come out. Uh, one that one didn't go through. actually go through. Two go now, right, so two have come out. And I am I am going to take them both. I'm pretty sure I'm going to take them both. I have a feeling you would. There we go. Right. Okay. I mean, lots of choice. Look at all these twos. So yeah, I'm going to take these red ones just so that I can explain what they do. Right. Now you may have noticed, eagle eyes among you, that there's no red area, but each of the areas has a red space in it. This is the space for the water vendors and these red caches, these are water vendors. So what happens is whenever I place one of these, I choose where I want to place it. So I'm going to put a water vendor here which is in this area. Uh, and I'm also going to put a water vendor down here in this area. Now, the water vendors do two things. First of all, whenever I activate that area with an assistant, then whether I'm adding a new Keshi or I'm using the action, I get one water. So every single time I use this area, I'm going to get a water from the water vendor. But the other thing, you know, I mentioned right at the start that you're going to get points at the end of the game for each completed area. Well, a completed area is eight caches of that colour and the water vendor. So you need the water vendors in order to be able to fully complete the areas. And that's worth 10 points each at the end of the game. So yeah, that's the, that's the water vendors. That's what I've taken. Arthur? Yes, um, I will have the grey, please. Oops, scholar is Okay, so that that end of round, end of season scoring tile is not quite activating a sector. It is performing the action of a sector. So you can't add a keshi with that. You're just using the action in that particular sector. I love this black one. Uh, Salvatore is asking who is ahead on the river if two fishermen lie in the same space at the end of the season. So as if you move into a space that contains another player piece, you go behind them. So the player who got to that space first is considered ahead. Somebody's asking what that animal is. I'm pretty sure it's a crocodile. It looks like a crocodile to me, yes. Yep. <laughs> I concur. Did you take? Yeah, I did. I took the black one. Oh, interesting. Um, well, in that case, I'm gonna, I've got loads of goods. Got so many goods. I'm going to take these two purple. I'm going to have a couple of carpets. 
I'll take the two orange. Yep. Yeah. And Peter, you get the uh, you get the fish. Right. Uh, and it's me first. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to activate this sector here. And because I've got a water vendor there, I gain one water. And then I'm going to take a fish. Fish. Right. That's that done. Next, I've got two here. So remember, for each one of these, I've got three options. I either take another Keshi of the of, of any of the three colours, or I can use this tile once, or I can buy any one of these. Um, and whilst I was saving up, you've got the tile that gives you points for slippers. You haven't discovered any of yours yet. I've got the one that's points for necklaces. But I kind of don't want to miss out on some of these. So I'm going to use this assistant and two carpets to buy this one. That gets me four points and two water. Then, and we don't reveal the next one till the end of my turn, I'm going to use this assistant and two yellow to buy this one for another four points and two coins. And that's it. That's my three actions done. We reveal the two new tiles. There's the necklace. And there's another necklace. Right, now nobody's allowed to buy those necklaces. Just after you've spent all Just the after i spent all of my goods, <laughs> the necklaces turn up. Okay. Um, Would you like another date picker? like a date tree. Oh, picker, is it? Which means you get one point. Sorry. And then... And you've got two things I in the soup. I would like a yellow... So you take a yellow with the first one, and, I shall spend the and then you yellow. spend the yellow to buy a slipper. Yeah. So you get two points and a date. There you go. You can never have enough dates. And that's the end of your turn. And we reveal another slipper. If any of these stacks run out, by the way, uh, which they might do because there's only five tiles in each, then what you do is you just split one of the other stacks so that you make another stack. So that there's always five tiles visible. Peter. Uh, I'll have a grey. You get a scholar. Cashy. Goes there. Ooh, choices, choices. I think I know what you're going to do with the fisherman. Yes, I'll have another blue. Oh, you're not moving three. Well, it'll get you seven points. Why seven? Because what would happen? Let me just show this. So what would happen is you'd move across here. And this is one space, but the first yeah. player to go into this space will go on that landing, that oh, jetty, and get four points. And then at the end of the round, you could choose that bonus. Okay. And it, it it's it's a good amount of points, but if you were going to choose any of these bonuses, then it's... Sorry, I didn't realise that was available. Yeah, yeah. That, so that is available. It did, it did happen I'll last game, but it was in the last round, I think. Yeah, so, so, so seven, the first seven player to arrive there goes there and gets yeah. four points right now. Oh, right now. Right, right now is the four points. And then at the end of this round, you could choose that as a okay. as a reward. Well, I'll certainly have that. Yeah. Um, and then him. Uh, three movements on the black uh, column. One, two, three. So moving up the... Um, let me just show this on here. That so moving up the mosque works in the same way as moving up the palace. Peter has just moved three spaces, so he gets the one coin. Plus he can now get any one of these three benefits because his other piece is here. So which one of those three would you like? Now, if you were to move up the river again, because you're already at the top of the river, every other space you move is an extra one point. So, it, so it's, it's either a, get a point or get, get a point, point, get a point, or get a date. I'll have a point, I think. Okay. That's just... Now, you, you leave your boat here. Oh, right. It's just, for every space you would move, you get one extra point. Just so that I can get ahead of Arthur. Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> okay, all done? Okay. I think that's it. That's the that is the, the end season. of the season. Well, no, first of all, it's the end of the round. True. Yeah. So we do the rewards. So Arthur, would you like a point or a resource? Oh, and then Peter, you can either have a point, a resource, uh, a good, or three points. Well, three points, I think. Right. So that's the end of the round. Now we do the end of the season. And the first thing we're going to do at the end of the season is we're going to award this tile. Now, we're using that tile because that's the recommended one for your first game. But there's a whole bunch of these tiles with the game. And you'll notice the icon on the left-hand side means this is for the first season. Uh, and you pick one at random, and that is your tile for the game. Uh, the player who is farthest ahead on the river, which I, th I think is me. Um, 
Yeah. Not quite. So he's not start quite. from the finish. Well, so, Peter, you get to perform the action of one of your sectors. Any one of my sectors. Any one of your sectors, you perform the action of it. I could perform the fishing. That would just get you me get three, three points. points. Yeah. Um, now, if I go here... You move three more up on here. So, he would go one, two, three. I'd get a coin. And you'd get... Ah, now you can't... No, there there's no line, line between, between there and there. Yeah. So, it would just be a coin... It would be not quite so efficient. And I would miss out on the opportunity to get a bonus there. Yeah, you might be best using activating the palace and moving two steps up on the palace. Yes, because that would get me... That would get you that bonus. Those. And then if I did move him next time, You'd get that. I'm going to get that. So I think that's... No, that sounds so you're going to perform the action of the palace. Wise, I'll do that. So one, two, you get the coin. Gallop up the palace. And then you get any one of these four benefits. Pink is there, isn't it? Yep, you're going to take an entertainer. I'll take an entertainer. Okay, and you get a deployment bonus of that immediately. Um, where shall I put him? I'll put him. Uh, I'll put him. I'll put him here, which gets me one up on the white there. Yep. Which doesn't get me anything else. No, you yet. only get the bonus when you enter yep. a new section. Okay. Oh, the pink one's entertainers. The pink ones are entertainers. I thought so. Right. And then all of the boats go back. So remember, they go back at the end of each season, not at the end of each round. Did I get my three points? I think you did. did yeah. yeah. We're now going to replace that scoring yeah. tile with the one for round two. Okay. Uh, sorry, with the one for season two. Um, right. The next thing that happens is the Stefan Feld figure passes. So the camel will pass at the end of each round. Whereas the Stefan Feld figure passes at the end of each season. So that's going to pass to Arthur, but Feld takes the camel with him. So you're going to be the start player for the first round in the second season. We all now need to pay our people. So I have two dates and a water. So I pay. Those go. But remember, this tile stays here. I'm going to have to pay those costs again in the next round. And now what I do is I choose which one of these tiles I want second. I'm going to choose that one. So at the end of this season, I'm going to have to pay two dates, three water, and a coin. But not a problem, because I've got lots of, uh, lots of date pickers. Right, and then the final step, preparation for the second season, is all players get a full set of 12 new caches. Oh, that was handy. Which we've sorted out before the game, because it's much easier to sort them out beforehand. Uh, and that's it. Except I'm short one. Are you short one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're short one. I'll so yeah, sort them out beforehand, but don't forget one. Which one have we forgotten? The guard. Yeah, the natural. Oh, yes. The guard. There you go. Have a guard. Right. How are you enjoying it so far? That's the end of the first season. There are three seasons in the game, but the first season is a bit shorter because a lot of the time you're going to be taking caches. Um, just before we start season two, I want to give a big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters that fund the channel. If you like the content that I create, then please consider supporting me at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules, as I do rely on the support of the Patreon campaign in order to help make videos like this, buy new equipment, keep the channel going and etc. Et so yeah, big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters, because uh, without you, there wouldn't be a gaming rules channel. Right then, season two, round one. Arthur's start player, let's pick pick three caches. I'm choose that one. And I'm gonna choose I really should do some river stuff. Just remind me what that what does that mean? So that one, once you've got this tile, is every time you cross a threshold you oh, get one it. extra That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One extra coin. Hmm. <laughs> that's not gonna work. That's also not gonna work. And that's not going to work. Okay. Right. I got my three. Sorry. I'm being slow. Um. Any reds? We have a red. Okay. So okay. I am... Grey, so green, purple. So there's a 
the yellow. There's the grey. And the red, I think, will be pink. Okay. Right. Let's see what's coming out. What do we have? We have a couple of reds. We have a yellow. We have a grey. Who's choosing first? Arthur. I suppose black. Ah, <laughs> no, we haven't had three. Remember what I said at the start? When you're taking from here, you can only take up to two of the same colour. So if there were three of the same colour in an area, you are only allowed to take two of them. And also, since we're still explaining rules, you're not allowed to take uh, colours that you can't have. Now, at the moment, we're not at that stage, but once an area is full, you are no longer allowed to take any of that colour. Well, it would be rude not to take the two red. It would be rude not to take the two red. So where are you deploying those water vendors? One's going there, mm -hmm. and one's going there. Right, Peter, what would you like? Just remind me, what's that? So this is at the end of the season. Oh, actually, sorry, can I change my mind? Yep. Uh, yeah, so this is this. That's an end of season bonus. Yes. So at the end of the season, you will get all of the rewards that you've passed. So in addition to getting one of them at the end of each round, okay. at the end of the season, you'll get all of them. I think that's what it does. That, like, that's what the iconography says to me. I'm just going to look it up in the booklet. Number twenty-eight. At the start of each scoring season, you one bonus from each of the rapids you have crossed. Yes. But it costs seven to get it. Oh no, this one. This costs three. Costs, this one costs three. Yeah. It's this one which is seven. Um, but this one happens. Uh, that's at the end of each round. At the end of each round. That, yeah. So at the end of each, these two are very similar. So at the end of each round, when you would get one of the bonuses, if you've got that, you get all of them. This is very similar, but it's just once at the end of the season. Yeah, got it. Right. Is it me? Yes. I'm going to take the two green ones then. So I'm, I'm almost full on green. Uh, can I have two points, please? Oh, already. Uh, the fisherman boats. Oh, yeah, we've done it again. I'm always doing that. They go there. <laughs> Thank you, John. I did that wrong in my previous game as well. Right, it's me up, is it? Yes. Um, I'm going to activate... Oh no, we've still got, oh, we still got things to take. Yeah, yeah, I took the two green. So, is it me to pick again? Yes. It's you to pick again. There's two purple there, good lord. Or a black. Or a yellow. I actually do need a yellow. Oh, no, no. Well, you always need a yellow. You always need a yellow. Oh, we haven't changed this. Sorry, I did forget. Well, I did mention that this changes each season. I just forgot to change it. So, yeah, that tile has now changed for a slightly different one. Mm, temptation to take two purple. Yeah, two purple. Well, if you don't, Peter probably will. Yeah. Although Peter's going yeah. in the... Mosque this turn, he might want to take the black. I'll take the purple. I can okay. see. Yeah, I'll take the yellow. Right, now it's your turn to take actions. So, so I'll take this action in the entertainment section. Yep, so you get a water, because you, you have a water, water vendor. A water vendor, as you say. And then, are you taking another entertainer or are you rotating? I'm rotating. Okay. And I'm getting three dates. Three dates, okay. Oh, it's on a date. Then, Next. Um, we'll activate this chap. Okay, so you get another water because you have another, another water vendor. Yeah. And I've got four points worth of stuff, which I think I'm going to do. So I wasn't listening. What, what does that one do? So this, this tile here, this is a permanent ability, uh, and it means the cost of taking walls is one cheaper. All, all of the walls that you take cost one less. Or the, or the which Sorry, take? One fewer coin. No, oh, gates. The gates, I think. Yeah, okay. gates. Not walls, gates. Yeah, okay. 32. You pay one fewer dinar when buying a city gate. Uh, note, if you buy a city gate that costs zero, you do not get a dinar back. <laughs> yeah. Or I can have two of those. You could have just two of those. Um, as it happens, I can spend four, so I can pick up one of these as well. Sorry, it was... What, okay, that one's... 
That one's just a, 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 a water, water vendor. vendor. Yep. Which will be sort of nice. And these are both going to give you uh, extra bonuses once you pass thresholds on either the palace or the mosque. Okay, so I get a that's water, a water when I pass the threshold and a, coin. A, and a coin when I pass the threshold. Mm -hmm. No, I think I'm going to spend four and I'll take okay. this one. So Arthur has four grey keshes, so he's got four scholars and he's going to spend those four points on buying a one and a three. Um, or you could have bought all three of these or yeah. you, you don't have to spend all of them if you don't want. Okay, so I'll buy those two. So that costs you two, two dates. And I get a water vendor. You get a water vendor. There you go. Water vendor is going to go there. Okay. Oh, and that's then where I say that. Um, reveal new yeah. tiles. Well, I still want to do an action, but I don't think it affects. Yeah, I think the tiles are revealed at the end of that oh, okay, particular yeah. action. Because yeah. as you say, once they're there. So now we're here. Yeah, what do you want to do with that one? Well, the sandal is tempting. Uh, nice, easy costs... two points in a water. It only cost one orange. Yeah. Just okay. one bag of spice, and I'll yeah. tell you this very nice slipper. The alternative would be to not pick up a necklace. Okay, I see. Okay, fine, we'll do that then. <laughs> Spend a spice. There you go. So you want two points nice. and a water. Points for yellow. And then at the end of that turn, we'll water. reveal the thing. Water for yellow. Done. Okay. Peter. Uh, I'll use him. Would you like one date, or would you like another date picker? Another date picker, I think. Gets me a point. And um, four spaces up the mosque, or a cleric. Four spaces up the mosque, I think. So one, two, three, four. So you've crossed another threshold. So you get one coin, and then you can either get three points, a water vendor. A date picker or a coin. Put it on him first, then I could have got the date picker. Then. You can change the order in which you do them if you want. Um, no, I'll just take a, a red. Take a water vendor. A water vendor. Yeah. And um, we're better to put a water vendor than on the river. Okay. And then your resistance in the souk. There's no goods. Grab. So he's going to have to he's going to have to buy some with his pocket money. Um, let's have a let's have a, a yellow, a lamp. Okay, there you go. So you're done. Um, I think I'm going to use this assistant here. I'm going to get a water, and I'm going to get myself seven dates. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Now that, that should help feed the people. I'm just going to put these on so I don't forget. Uh, so that's that one done. Um, I really could have done with an extra grey one. Because I'm very tempted to buy one of these. Very, very tempted. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do this. So I'm going to use this one, and I'm going to use this scholar here and one date to buy this one. So yeah, so from now on, every time I pass a threshold, I gain one water. Uh, if I spent the date, that's used the scholar. That's the end of that. Oh. That's another every time you pass a threshold. Um, and then I've got this one. I don't, it's a different bonus, is it? A different bonus, yeah, it's move up the river. Uh, and this one is going to get myself um, a carpet. Done. Right, end of the round. Nobody moved up the river. So camel passes to Peter. Next round. We choose three things. He's off already. <laughs> um... No okay. pressure. No pressure. Um, I'm going to choose that. I'm going to choose that. And I'm going to choose... Oh, now that's interesting. I don't want to take that just yet. I want to wait and take that next turn. So I'm going to take... I'm going to take that one. Okay. 
One red. One red. So Peter, you choose. Uh, so I've got pink. Uh, I've got guard, and I've got black. I don't know why I'm shuffling. Um, sorry, I'm stuck. You done all yours? Are you weren't sure where to put the red one? Yeah. Okay, right, in we go. Oh, there's a lot that have got stuck. So, what's that? Seven? Yeah, only seven have come out. Out of the nine that have gone in. All right, Peter's choosing first. Hmm. They're not the ones I'm looking for. I like that red one. Okay. Well. Um. I'd like the green to finish off the greens, but actually. The way that things have evolved, I'm taking the cleric. Pop it in there. Entertain that for me. Oh, sorry, I get a reward at this point. You do? Which one up that was uh, one upon the mosque, yeah. Did you take again, Peter? Yeah, I took the uh, natural the guard. You left the green one again for me. Uh, it does mean I don't need to take greens for the rest of the game. That's useful information. Yeah. And it does mean the next time I use it, I'm going to get myself eight dates. That you don't need. Which is an awful lot of dates. Well, no, I... I <laughs> Four victory points. I need to get... Yeah, that's true. Every, every good that you've got, or every resource that you've got at the end of the game is, is half a point. Um... I think I'm going to take the brown one. And I'm going to go discovering this oasis. Oh, okay. So that's three points at the end of the game for each of my gates, which are orange, purple, or yellow. Yeah. So by discovering uh, your oasis early, it kind of gives you a bit of a direction on what you want to be doing during the game. If you discover them late, you're taking the chance that they may be good for you, they may not be good for you. Right, so I can have grey or green. Grey is interesting. I think greens. Uh, You've got uh, quite a few greys, haven't you? I have. I'm going to the grey. You want the grey one? Yeah. Peter, you get the green one and you get a point. If I can pick it up without disturbing the tower. There we go. Yeah. So, okay. me to go. Actions. Hmm. Uh, I think I'll start here and I'll take this one. Yep, so it costs you one date cost me one date. But now, at the end of each season, you get all of the rewards based on where you are on the river. Yeah, which isn't very much at the Not moment. Not at the moment. But we have ambitions. But that's that one done. That's that one done. Reveal a new one. Uh, this one. Uh, you can take another guard, or you can build up to two gates. And the gates get you two points two if points the colour match. match. And they get you a keshi of the colour of the gate. Right. So if I spend one... Oops. If I spend one gold mm -hmm. to get a blue gate yep. and put it here... That will get you one point for that, plus another two because you colour matched, so three points, and... Another barrel. You will get a blue keshi at the end of your building gates action. So, do you want to build a second? Oh, and then you put one of your guards in front of the gate. Do you want to build a second gate? I 
haven't got any money left. Well, you, I have. I've you, got... You've got the money there if you need it. Yeah, I could. I could do that. Um, it gets me an extra. Is there a black one? Yes, there is. There's a black barrel. There's a black gate there. Mm -hmm. So oh, let's do here. that. Let's spend another another coin coin for another three points because you're going to call a match. Another three points, which gets you a cleric, which gets me a cleric. Now you play, and then you put the guard in front of it, Two, three. and you get those things. Yep. Nice. Building up your board nicely. Um, so that was him. That was that one. And finally him. Yep. Would you one, like two, another cleric? Three, four, five. Or five movements. So one question that I got asked last time I taught the game is, do the water vendors count as a piece in their area for the purposes of the action? And the answer is no. So Peter has five clerics but and the water awesome. vendor gets the water for using the area. Um, but the, the water vendor is just there to sell water, not to actually do any worshipping. Okay, five. so you've crossed another threshold. So you get a coin and you can either have five points, a lamp, a scholar, a fish or a coin. Let's have a, um, let's have a, a fish. Okay, have a fish. Right. Strong turn. And that's right. My go is nowhere near as good as that, I don't think. I'm going to use my cleric, uh, my assistant down here, and I'm going to move up two spaces in the mosque. Gets me one coin. Uh, because I've got this tile, I also get a water. And then I'm going to get one of those things, and I'm going to take some spices. Okay, so that's that done. Um... I'm then going to use uh, done this in the wrong order. Have I done it in the wrong order? Have I not done it in the wrong order? I'm not sure. Um, I am going to use that one and I'm going to build a gate. I'm going to spend three coins. Could I have that gold plated pink gate? And I am going to colour match. That's nine points. Wow. And I am going to get an entertainer for doing that. And the entertainer is going to go there. And that entertainer is going to get me a carpet. Because you can never have enough. Because you can never, never have, have enough, enough carpets. Necklaces. And necklaces. Um, then I'm going to activate this area. And I'm going to rotate that one space and I'm going to get three dates because you can never have enough dates as we <laughs> as we found earlier on there you go right that's me done Arthur your turns okay so I'm going to activate this area mm -hmm. I get a water and are you rotating or would you like another entertainer I'm rotating that gives me three up the three up on the mosque. Oh, mosque well, yeah. So one, two, three. So you've crossed the threshold. Get money. You get one coin, and then either a point, a river movement, or a date. Take the date. Okay, so that was that action. Um, Ulrich's just saying in the chat to somebody that yeah, you don't need the gate to complete one of the sectors. To complete a sector, you need eight caches of that colour and the water vendor. You, you don't need the gate to complete the sector for the end of game scoring. And then I'll take two dates. Two dates, okay. And we've not seen any claiming of Oasis yet. Yeah. Are you going to do it? I am. Right, okay, so claiming of Oasis, we kind of mentioned, I'll just show you my player board, but I have discovered these three Oasis. So if I was to have placed my assistant here, then instead of taking a new brown Keshi, what I could have done is I could have claimed as many Oasis as I want to, Oasis as I want to. Uh, the cost to claim either of these two is a coin, and the cost to claim either of these two is a water and a date. And the cost to claim either of these two is a data coin and a water. Now, that doesn't mean these were any better. All six of these were randomly chosen at the start of the game and placed face down. When you claim them, and one assistant can claim as many as you want, is you place them up here from left to right. And there are various rewards for placing them on the various spaces. 
Uh, that one will get you a cache. That one will allow you to exchange caches. That gets you a cache. That gets you a free scroll. That gets you seven points. And then at the end of the game, you can choose up to three of your Oasis and you score the points based on the condition of them. So that's how claiming Oasis work. And Arthur, so you're going to claim some? Two Oasis. So this one costs one money. One money. That goes there and gets you that black cashy straight away. Put him in a second. There's the money. And then I'm going to claim this one, mm -hmm. which costs a water and a, a water date. And a date. Okay. And that has set two end game goals for you in terms of getting extra points as well. Yep. And then this palace guard or whatever it is goes to live there. Goes to live there. Goes to uh, live it's a cleric. There. Cleric. Okay. Cleric. Similar. Yeah. All uh, done. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so right. That's the only game we want. Yeah. Well, I found the two things. Yeah. So, yeah. so end of round, no river bonuses. The camel passes to me. Off we go. We're actually halfway through the game in terms of number of rounds. There's only 12 rounds in the game, and that was round six. So I'm going first, which means I need to do that. I better take that off, because that's cheating. Um, but I might also do that. And I'm also going to do that. Okay. I love this decision point in the game. It's it's nice. Any reds? No reds. Orange, brown, blue. Why did I put a blue one in? <laughs> oh, because I had to. Right, there's quite a few things in there, isn't there? Because only seven came out last turn. What's come out this turn? More than seven. More than seven. Okay, so we've got a couple of browns, we've got a black, blue, pink, yellow, orange, and another orange, and a white. Oh yeah, quite a few have come out. Right, so, um, what do I want? Well, oh, that's interesting. Oh, I'm going to take the two brown and I'm going to discover there for that one. Okay, not really interested in that. And I've got a coin there if I need it. I want both of these. So I'm actually going to go down here and I'm going to take two coins. Yeah. Okay, done. Take two yards. Mm hmm. I need the yellow at some point, but I think I need to take the blue. Yeah, I'm going to get one extra. So. Is it back to me? Back to you. Damn it. I wasn't thinking about what to do. Right, so what we've got left? We've got pink. Pink is actually pretty good for me ish, sort of. Yellow. See, at this stage, I'm 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 now thinking of which of the areas I want to try and complete, yeah. and I'm looking at possibly two. <laughs> Last game, I completed four areas. Yeah, well, I completed none, so. <laughs> and I get a money. You get one money. You don't have to place them in order. You know, no, no, you, no, you no, can no. go anywhere. You just... No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> He's got a plan. I'm happy. Peter. Okay, so I will take the yellow one. You have a cleric. Right, okay, so my go. Um, so, let's have a look at this. Yeah, there are... There are things that can be done here. 
Oh. Right. I'm going to do this one first. And I'm going to spend three purple, and I'm going to spend two orange, and I'm going to buy myself a very nice necklace for 13 points. Let's hope you reveal a sandal when you do something. <laughs> well, well, we'll see. We'll see. It's not. No. Okay, that's my first one. My second one is I'm going to activate this one and I'm going to get a water from my water vendor and then I'm going to move two spaces up the river but I'm going to spend a water to move an extra space up the river. Right, the big decision one is this one. Do I start claiming oasis is, 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 or not? Or do I go discovering still? Um, I'm going to get those. No, I'm going to I'm going to discover. We're going to take another one, and it's going to go at the top, and we're going to discover this oasis. Be good, be good. Oh, four points for each one of my completed areas. Done. I got me water for that. Uh, yeah, we're done. Okay, so I just want to confirm. This is one discount per gate I build. Correct. Yeah. Uh, Kitty is asking, how can you complete the souk at the end of the game? You can't. The souk is the only area that you cannot complete at the end of the game. It's only the other areas. Okay, so this should be entertaining. Um, I wish to build... Are you going to build four gates? Four gates. <laughs> wow, here we go. <laughs> I'll build that one, that one, that one. Oh, right. Okay, so they're all free. They're all free. And you get one point for each. And you've got an orange, a white, a green, and a brown. green, and a brown. So you're going to get four caches out of this at yeah, the end of your turn. I thought I couldn't say no. So that colour that matched. That's a colour match for two points. That matched. And two points. That matched. And that matched. I get, what is it? This, this, yeah, that's yeah. orange. Yeah. All right. You're adding three points for each one. Well, you added three originally, I think. No. Before. He needs, he needs that point, plus the two. Okay. So you didn't add the four for the not, for the gates initially? Not immediately, no. Okay, right. Okay, but it's correct, is it? Okay. Yeah, so each gate was three So points. orange one goes there, white one goes here, brown one goes here. Good man. Well, yeah, you get points at the end of the game for brown, red, and tan-coloured gates. So that's only one of them so far. What the hell is that? That, I believe, is seven points at the end of the game for every piece which has reached this space here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I get a point for that. Okay. So that was one action. <laughs> Amazing. Right. Um, yeah, the two should be more straightforward. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, so, so this... Would you like a noble? University or whatever it is. Um, Palace. I don't know, it's getting kind of, kind of late in the game in a way, isn't it? Um, we're basically almost two thirds. We're just over half. Mm. We are seven so twelfths so of the I'm way through. Probably not going to finish this. Um, and, I, and this does get me over a boundary. It so, does. So I shall go over. So two spaces will get you one coin. Yeah. And then either one coin, uh, some spices, an entertainer, or a point. Sorry? Pink ones are good. Yeah. It does help me complete that thing. That's what I was thinking you might want. Getting close. So I'll take that guy. Which is an immediate two points. Oh, yeah. And then, lastly, but not leastly, the cleric. Uh, three points. Three spaces up. Yeah. One, two, three, which is another threshold. So that's another coin. Yeah. And then either three points, a water vendor, a date picker, or a coin. Short of water vendors. On the other end. <laughs> uh, right. So pick do me, I do I need me, do I need me. do I need a water vendor? This one's gonna finish. He's got this a family. He's got finish. children to feed. <laughs> this one's gonna finish. All three of which have got water vendors. Okay. I might be pushing it to maybe for another one. Um, on the other end. Remind myself. A water vendor does also generate you water every time you use the area. But yeah, true, true, true. Lots to think about. Um, 
Or three points is three points is three points. On his own. So uh, I think on balance, I'll take the date to pick up. Which gets you one point. Okay. I'm done. Peter. Okay, this is going to be fairly easy. Desert yeah. guy. Flips over. Hang on, you need to take the... Oh, yeah. Carrot one. What have you discovered? Um, lamps, lamps get me five. Five points. Okay. That's pretty good for any lamps. If you had any lamps. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's got any lamps. That's going to have to be And there's none on progress. display. Yeah. So we're all out of lamps. We're lamped out. Um, unlamped. Delamped. Uh... Let's spend um, an, a lamp, mm -hmm. an orange one. Uh, spices. Spices, sorry. Yep. Spices to get... Two dates. Two dates. Yep. That's Oops. with one of the assistants. Which can immediately assuage the Help feed the people. Population. I've done him, so he should have come off. And then what am I going to do with him? Uh, I think he's going to sell a... What's that? A carpet? This. No, that's a lamp. That's a lamp. That's a lamp. They're yellow because they glow yeah. yellow. That's how you tell. For uh, two water? For two waters. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. End of the round. River bonus goes to me. I get a point. Woo! Right. Final round of the second season. I'm going to choose these three. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think about this for a long, hard time. <laughs> Arthur needs guards guarding his gates. Yes. You need to put your oh, guards yeah. guarding the gates. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well spotted. Well done. Sneaky, trying to creep that one past us, <laughs> build another four gates. Well, yeah. funny enough, you can't do that because there's not enough spaces for the gates. Right, so I've got a red one. So I choose where the red one goes. So I've got yellow, got white. <sighs> well, is it is it just an easy, obvious choice? I think it is. Or is it? Do we now go and start claiming some... I think we go and start claiming some things. Right, are we ready? Mm -hmm. Off we go. Okay, and did we pass the camel? No, I think not We didn't pass the camel. Arthur is first. Yeah, in a three-play game, it should always return to the player who's got the fell figure. In the last one. Well, two whites and two blue are both calling to me. <laughs> Don't suppose I'm going to get both. Uh, no. Um, two whites has an advantage, which I think. Oh, I'm activating. Okay, I'm activating the blue. So I'll, I'll take the blue one. Okay, you made it easy. You've got to me. take the two whites, haven't you? And I have to take the red. Right, what's left? Pink, wow. A yellow. Mm, or purple, less interesting, I think, or orange. I will take the pink. Placement bonus? Uh, water. Oh, well, I don't have to put it there, do I? You don't have to put it there? I'm going to go up. I'm not at all. Okay, yeah, I'll go there. So, so one up on yeah. the palace. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, Peter. Hmm. Just a purple. Well, I do need a third yellow at some point. So I'll take a third yellow. There you go, Arthur. Have some spice. Let's spice up your life. Sorry, what happened? You just got spice. It was the last one. Oh, it was, like, it was what I was yeah. going to take Right, off you go. Your actions. Final actions of season two. Okay, so we'll do the fishing thing. Yep. That gives me three movement. One, two, three. three. So you've got the space behind me, unless you want to spend water unless to I, move. Unless I want to spend some water, which I probably do. So, you're also activating the boats. And and he's, he's got a stack, he's of, got water. stack of water and he's moving at least five. So and you're not. I'm, I'm not. So I could get second. There's no second, so there's place, no second place for that one. For this round. Okay. Um, 
So I can't really see any advantage to... But mind you, uh, if I go here, I can have a resource... Instead of the point, yep. Well, at this stage, I know the point is better. Hmm. All right, we'll do that. So I'll pay two... Well, no, 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 we'll stay there. Two water to get a water? Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> we'll stay there. Okay. Oh, sorry. Um, yep, so actually. that's that done. Right, so I've got two people in the souk. Yep. Um, and you can't buy this necklace because I've got a reserved sticker on it. And I've got no yellow. Uh, <laughs> and that as well, yeah. Um, the dagger I could buy. Oh, no, I've got no yellow. I'm afraid of that. I've got no well, yellow. you could take one yellow with one of them. If you really wanted to. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Um, there's a world shortage of yellow. I can buy that thing. That thing is a tagine. Oh, a tagine. Oh, yeah. Very nice. I've got one in my kitchen. Cooking implement. Makes very nice couscous. Um... It's more efficient. It's not. I will, in fact, use one of these for a yellow, and I'll use the other guy to then spend the yellow and the orange and the purple. Oh, and buy this dagger. Buy the dagger. Seven points. Okay, end of your turn. We reveal another dagger. Right, Peter. So I have no. I need a coin. I've got to think about where if I'm going to get that. You don't have coin. a coin. You lose eight points and all of your resources. Everything that you've got left, it's all gone. But you're going to get a coin because you're going to move six space, uh, five spaces up here. Oh, of course, I'm going to and get you're it going to get a coin oh, at least. Forgotten that. So right, okay. So I can stop panicking. Don't no panic. I can stop panicking. <laughs> I will stop running around, and I'll put my hair out. Um, uh, so, that's so, Paul, right, right. Yeah. Well, was there some benefit for having all of the gates finished at the no. end of the game? No. no. Okay. no there really there is a benefit to having uh, eight guards and a water vendor in that area, okay. but it doesn't matter whether the guards are guarding a gate or not. As long as you've got eight guards and a water vendor in this area, you're going to score the, the ten points. Okay, so I'd need another three guards. No, unfortunately, because Arthur stole those two waters off me uh, last time. He? What? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to get past this threshold here. Right. Um, because that would have meant a ton of points yeah. and um, stuff. But I stole them then? Because you took the two barrels of blue, didn't you? You took the two fish. Oh, but that was... The... Yeah. So when you say stole two water, what you mean is Arthur chose to take the things he wanted to take when it was his turn to take them. That's, what I mean. That's exactly what I, mean. I, I, I stand by my analysis of that situation. Because <laughs> um, I would have gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wow. I've got 9 available. Okay. Plus 1 here. Yeah. Um, you planned it all. Or plus, anyway, I could. I, I, I anyway, can't. what could have been? What could have been? But I, I can't. But I will I will have a vendetta against you, Arthur, now for, for the next 25 games we play of any. I shall, I shall watch my back in the, uh, in the sook. <laughs> Okay, uh, so this this uh, which one should we do first? Does it matter? Um, probably not. Let's go with the um, the cleric. Go five spaces up in the palace. In the palace, yes. So please. one, two, three, get four, that five. So you get a coin. Yep. Uh, and then you get either two coins, a brown keshi, a white keshi, or five points. I think a white keshi seems like a sound yeah, investment. Another, another noble in the palace. Yep. Let's do that. Um, and then, having done that, that's us. That's that bit done, isn't it? Um, then uh, these are all wrong for activating. So I think what I'll do is I'll just get another another entertainer and place that entertainer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. No matter how many times I count it, it's it still enough. doesn't reach twelve. Um, if I put it in there, I'd get one more. I've got five. Oh, no, I've got there. I've got... I've got oh, You're going to get a water for using that area. I'll get a water for using that area. I, didn't get, I shouldn't have been owed water. No. Um, so uh, like, there's nowhere else I could have got water. You can get 11 spaces, Max. And I needed to be 12, didn't I? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. 
Curses. Curse you, Arthur. (laughs) (laughs) I blame you entirely. So, um, what am I going to do instead? Let's think about this, Uh, but not too much. Um, There. One space up on the mosque. One space up on the mosque, yeah, why not? There is a benefit, by the way, once a player gets to the top of the mosque, uh, every space they would move beyond that gets them a point. And the benefits for arriving at the top is really nice. And then he gets another water water. from the water vendor and you move five spaces or more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you've got five for your fish, three water for... That's going to get me one thing. Yeah. Is one thing worth three? <laughs> I don't know. You can answer that question. <laughs> Probably not, actually. But remember, you've got the end of season thing, so it's actually going to be two things. So I would get that. But if I only get to here, it means I'll get that and that. Whereas it means I... you'd get that or that for yeah. the end of the round. Yes. And then you'll get both of them for the end of the season. Whereas if I'm here, I'll get... You get, get that, that or that once, and then all three of them. So I'll get two things. Yeah. So is two of these things worth three water? Um, or should I save my water and possibly use it next turn? Maybe I will be able to get to uh-huh. that next turn. So let's okay. just Okay, so you're just going to move with the fish. So yeah. one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah. You all done? Yeah. Right. So I think... We're going to do some caravan claim, uh, some oasis claiming. So I'm going to use this one. I get a water because of that, which I'll sell to Peter for five points. Uh, now I'm going to claim some oasises. Now that's going to be worth a lot of points to me at the end of the game because it's three points plus one point per date. So I'm definitely claiming that one. That's going to cost me a coin, and then I put it on here, which gets me this grey keshi at the end of my turn. Uh, this one is, I've already got one necklace, so that's that's definitely going to be worth six points to me. And if I pick up another necklace, it's worth another six. Um, I'm hoping to be able to complete at least two areas. So I think that's going to be worth eight points to me. So that cost me a coin, a date, and a water for this one. Now, that goes there. Now, this means I can exchange... Uh, one keshi for any other keshi, but you can't give in goods, you can't give in the brown ones. Um, there's something else you can't give in as well. But I'm going to go there, and I'm going to exchange. Now, what am I not doing a lot of? Fishing. You're right, I'm I'm actually not doing a lot of fishing at all. I'm also not doing a lot of scholaring, but I wanted to do some scholaring. So I'm actually going to give up. I'm going to give this entertainer and I'm going to swap this entertainer. He's going to get promoted. He becomes a noble. Okay. <laughs> some cool John Chatter said that he wishes he wish had someone to vendor of 25 games against him. Because at least if you get 25 games to play. <laughs> um, I'm then going to spend a water and a date for this one, which is going to go here, which gets me that. Now then, although this tile is not very good for me, if I claim it, I get that. I really should have explored the sixth one and just bought all six at the same time. That would have been... That would have been awesome. That would have been more efficient. That definitely would have been more efficient. So, uh, I'm short on a purple. I think I might be able to do this. No, not quite. Uh, I think I'm going to leave that. I might regret it. But that goes on there, and that gets me a free level 3 scroll. Um, No, I am going to do it. So I'm going to pay a date and a water. I'm going to buy that. That goes there. That gets me a free scroll. Wow. Those are amazing. Yeah, I'm going to take this one, which immediately gets me... Is that a level three? Yeah, yeah, it gets me an orange and a purple. Okay, so that's that. And then I get the white one, and I get the grey one. 
Right, so again, as I mentioned at the start, or earlier on, even though I've got five of these Oasis tiles, I can only score three of them at the end of the game. So at the end of the game, I'm going to score whichever three of those I want. Is it level three because it costs three? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That gets revealed. Right, that was my first action. <laughs> my second action, I've not quite got enough to buy another thing. Let's do this one first. So I've got four... Uh, nobles in the palace. That is one, two, three, four. I get a coin. I get a water for my special ability. Uh, and I also get something along there. And I'm going to take... The last date. I think I'm going to take the last date picker. Yeah. So that gets me a point. And this area is now complete. Awesome stuff. Right, and then finally I've got this one. And yeah, I can't afford the... Um, can't afford the thing, so what should I take instead? Just look at it at the window. Window. I, uh, yeah, I, I dream I, about being wealthy enough to have it. Um, oh, these aren't great. I tell you what, I'm just going to use it to take a purple. Yeah, just, he's just going to buy himself a carpet. Right, we're done. Or, you know. or a necklace, as it's known. Yeah. <laughs> so that is the last round of, of the second season. season. So yep. first of all, we do river benefits. So I get a point. Arthur gets a point. Peter, you can choose either a point or a resource. Um, I think I'll have a resource. And I think it will be water. Okay. And then we do end of season stuff. So your tile kicks in and you get a point and a resource. Point. How come I'm lagging so far behind? A uh, resource. You're going to get a typical okay. Mr. Grogan and, and, and yeah. lapis in the last And then so. this <laughs> tile goes to the player furthest ahead. So you get any two caches. Any two which caches. Awesome, any two caches, which is awesome. pretty amazing. And then we all feed our people, or meet the needs of our people. Reveal the next one. Everybody goes back to the start. And we're going to go back to the proper start this time. And all of that pretend start. Okay, can I have uh, two? Uh, they can be the same or different. Yeah, I can have two white ones, please. There you go. So that would be completed once you've got a water vendor. Yeah. Right, so they've gone back. We get rid of that. We put the final scoring tile in. So the scoring tile that we're using for Basically season three. Provisions. Yeah, he's bailed that. He's seven points for the player farthest ahead and three points uh, for the one after that. Do they have to be two different caches that could be both of the same? They can both be the same. Right. Mr. Feld moves on. With his camel. Well, you've already populated your things. Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. And one coin short. I'm sure that can be rectified. Yeah, yeah, I've been dreaming about being one coin short. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the same as last. Oh, no, it's not the same. Okay. You do have a big coin. Uh, right, I have 12 caches. Just okay. check, check that it's 12. And, yeah, I think we're about to start the final I've got 10 here. season uh, of the game. Well, I'm missing three. three. I've got 11. Eh? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I've got 12. <laughs> right. What are you missing? God knows. Um, Pink. No, oh, I've got two brown. Oh, yeah, brown. brown. I have brown, brown. Missing, yeah. Okay. I need a brown. Need, yeah. Uh, so we thought brown. we'd sorted them out at the start, but we failed. Oh, no, sorry, I lied. And I need a grey. Grey's the one we haven't got. Yeah, grey. Okay. Have a grey. Have a grey. Have a grey. Have a grey. Right. That looks better. So, are we ready? Mm -hmm. You think well, I'm trying to achieve this round? Lots, too much. No. Who's first, who's first this round? Peter is. Um. Brr. Oh. Oh yeah, that obviously. Yeah. Silly me. Sorry, I'm being slow again. 
again. Uh, oh, that was stupid. If I build a white gate, I'm not going to get the white guy, am I? Correct. No. Uh, Oh, I'm definitely completing two areas. I'm going to struggle to complete a third. I'm definitely possibly completing two or three areas. <laughs> or, or none at all. Any reds? Yeah. We have a red. Okay, so green in the souk and in the university. Just a reminder on the rules that I mentioned earlier on, you are not allowed to take caches if you can't accommodate them. So my green area is full, I am not allowed to take the green one. Uh, if I was only one away and there were two greens there, I could take greens, but I'd only take one of the greens. So yeah, you basically, you're not allowed to take any caches from there, so I can't take green. Anybody else full on anything? Peter, you're full on white. I'm full on so white. You can't yeah. take white so if there's any white. I'll take whites. grey. You take the two greys. Since I'm doing that. Uh, now, I think I'm going to complete that area and that area. And they've already got water vendors in. So, I think I'm going to take the yellows. I uh, haven't explained the rules to pay one coin to change the three scrolls of a colour. Yeah, you're right. I haven't mentioned that rule. So there was a, a rule that you can do. Uh, whenever you are using the scholars to buy scrolls, you can spend one coin to replenish three scrolls of one of the colours. Okay. What you do is you put them to the bottom and you reveal the top ones. But if you do that, I believe you then have to buy at least one of those. Thank you, Ulrich, for that reminder. Uh, it's so that you don't get stuck with tiles that you don't want. Uh, where were it? Can I have a yellow cashew, please? Yellow cashew. Yeah, you can pay one dinar to exchange the top scrolls of all three stacks of one colour but you must acquire at least one of the new scrolls. Is it back to me? Oh, yeah. Or is it? Okay. Uh, so I can't take... Uh, green. Oh, there's the brown one that I wanted. Oh, but there's also purple. No, I'm going to take the brown, and I'm going to discover this. I really should have waited. Oh, okay. Three points plus one per water vendor. Nice. Uh, Johnny's asking if the rules have changed much since the video that I did about a year ago. I can't honestly remember. Uh, fundamentally, it's it's mostly the same game. I know they definitely changed this area. Uh, there may have been another couple of tweaks as well. So yeah, I don't. Without going back and watching my old video, which has unfortunately got lots of views because it was a year old, um, I'm hoping that this one replaces the old one. Well, this one does replace the old one because this is the final version of the game with the final rules. Right, off we go then. Actions, starting with Peter. Well, if I do this one, mm -hmm. I can turn those two purples into a... To gene? To gene. To gene. Yeah, which gets you four points and two dates. Four points and two dates. Four points and two dates. Two dates. Then I can do some scholaring. Ooh. What does this do? So that is a permanent ability. Yeah. Every time you are moving up the mosque or the palace, you can spend dates to move more. 
I think that's what the iconography is saying to me. Mm. Let me now just check sure some dates and if that is correct. I like to play this little game, is guess what the iconography means and then see if I'm right. Um, when you advance on the palace or mosque, you may buy further steps by spending dates. Yeah, there you go. And there's another one of those in the game for water. And that's this one, isn't it? Uh, that's every time you advance across a threshold, you gain one river movement. Oh, well, let's, uh, let's do that. I'll spend one to have that one, mm -hmm. which costs me a date. Costs you a date. Which is going to have to be that one. Ouch. Um, and then I've got four left. It's all going to cost me dates, and I've only got one. Oh, is this a good idea? Maybe it's better to hang on to them, because I'm running out of I haven't got enough dates to do this um, properly. Or I could take one that's worth five, and it would be... So this one allows me to take all of the ones... Um, yeah, so immediately... Do you want to just take the date back? So this is an immediate effect. You gain all of the benefits on the line between your two pieces. So if you did this right now, you'd get two coins, brown cashier, a white cashier, and five points as an immediate one-off bonus. White cashier's no good to me. No. So that's not looking quite so hot. This one? This one is a permanent ability that once your um, fisherman has reached the end and is parked in one of the jetties, every further movement gets you two points instead of one. Right, okay. And this one, I can spend a... Uh, so date. immediately, when you buy this for two dates, you spend one extra date and you take one of these three, which are very powerful scrolls, in the right situation. So I can turn, if I had three dates, I haven't got three dates, so no. I've messed this up completely. I'm just going to take another You're going to scholar. take another scholar? Yep. There you go. And hope, well, there isn't going to be another turn. So I hope I can complete that and, um, and gain the bonus for that, because I've not really used that very well. I haven't got if you build a grey gate, you'll get a grey cashy. That, that's how okay. you can complete it. Ah, yes, that's true. Okay, so that's that one done, and it just leaves him. So um, one, two, three, I get water. Get water. Did you get the water for the grey guy? No. Okay, we've got another water. So, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's still twelve. It's still twelve. It hasn't changed. No. So, <laughs> two, four, six, seven. Plus your five from your fish is all the way to the end. You park in the first jetty, you get four points. So, yeah, the first player to arrive in this last space. Do I get those now? Parks themselves and you get an immediate four points. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's it for me. Okay, right. Uh, what have I got? I've got necklace buying. So we'll use this assistant, three yellow, two purple, to buy this for 13 points. Um, then I've got this one which gets me eight dates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, and a water. Uh, so that's that one done. And I got this one. Now, this one isn't really going to... I'm not going to complete this area. So I'm thinking I'm going to spend two dates. And with my two scholars, I'm going to buy two of these. And it's going to be that one and that one. So now, every time I move over a threshold, I get a water, a coin... And I move up one on the river. There you go. Okay, done. Arthur. Okay. Um. Oh, I need to reveal that. Now, I don't know how many necklaces there are in the game. I'm just going to have a look. I'm guessing fewer than the number of slippers. There are. It doesn't say. It says there's 25... And there's five different types. Ulrich will tell me. How many necklaces are there in the game, Ulrich? Five of each. Well, I'm thinking not. I'm thinking there should be more of the ones that are cheaper. Did we figure out what this one does? Yes. Seven well, I think so. Five. I think it's seven points for everybody who reaches the end. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the seven. number on it? Uh, 28. Number 28 says... Is it number 28? Yeah. Oh, it's Sahara number 28, not scroll number 28. You gain seven points... Oh, if you have reached. 
So it's not every player, it's just yeah. if you have reached the final space. Yeah, that sounds hugely unattractive. And this was five... Th- five, thre- five thresholds. So as long as you've crossed total. five thresholds, you've crossed three. one, two, three at the moment. Yeah, the time is running low. Anyway, so I'm not tempted to promote any of those. Uh, maybe what I should do is get another brown, another brown... Uh, yeah, give me a, give me a, give me a, a um, another a caravan, camel, camel caravan. Whatever yeah. I, uh, I guess I should look, discover that, see what it is. Three plus one times. So camels. three points plus one point for each brown keshi you've got. So for you, that's nine points. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Yeah. Um. However, you can't do both. So so no. that's that done. Um. Now. The entertainment business. Would you like to take your last entertainer, or are you going to rotate and get a bonus? If I rotate, it's going to optimise money and dates. Money, arguably, is required. Yep. So I'll rotate. I'll have three money. Okay. One of which goes immediately on there. Mm, just realised I still need two water. <laughs> I can get it. I can get it. Uh, right, that was him. And then the souk. Souk time. Right. Um, have we got anything we can... Oh, a sandal. Merely for the cost of a yellow. Yeah. Yeah, it's a no-brainer. Since they're worth points to you at the end of the game? They are. Okay, so you get two immediate points and a date. And once you're done with all your purchases, I'm done. Have a lamp. We are all done. Right. Okay. So river scoring for the end of the round. Peter, which of those four bonuses would you like? Um, I'll have the three victory points. Okay. One, two, three. Uh, the camel passes. And we do round two. So. Hmm. Okay, we we'll definitely need that. And oh, if only I could remember what other people had put in. <sighs> okay, yeah. How much gold have I got? None. <laughs> okay. I have no gold. Um, has Ulrich told me how many uh, necklaces there are yet? He hasn't. I need to know. These decisions are important. Wishing I hadn't brought that pink gate earlier on there. One, two, three. Oh. Right. Oh. The decisions are becoming more painful as it goes on. Any reds? No reds. Orange. Guy. That guy. Okay, there we go. Guards, spices, a noble, a cleric, one of those, and one of those. Right, so that's interesting. That's very interesting. Oh, did it? I said I needed money, didn't I? 
Oh, I've done this in the wrong order. Oh. Right. How can I get out of this mess? Um, is there a loan system in this game? <laughs> Hope not. Unfortunately not. Um, I'm going to take the two orange. So two guards. Uh, you took the black one, didn't you? Yep. Can't take the green. I'll take the white. Point. One point VR? Yep. Right, okay. So my actions first. This is... Uh, Yeah, the brown gates, the only brown gates available are the gold-plated ones, um, which I can't afford because I've got no money. So am I getting any points for gates at the end of the game? Oh, I am. In fact, three points for every orange, purple or yellow. So... Oh, but I haven't got any things. Oh, so that that's an obvious one. That's get a guard. I have no choice with that one. This one could be two movements up the mosque, which doesn't really do anything. Um, yeah, this is a weak turn. Very weak turn. So I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to move two spaces up on the mosque in the hope that I can move more somehow later. And then this one is going to spend two orange and two yellow to buy this lamp for 10 points. Uh, okay, done. Arthur. Didn't feel as epic as my previous turn. <laughs> uh, did I use any areas with water vendors this turn? I didn't. Hmm. Right, um, I'm going to spend this guy. Two, three, four, five, six dates. What, six dates or an extra date picker? Hmm. I guess we sort of need the six dates. Six 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 dates. Six six five four four. So it's four necklaces. Oh, okay. Four necklaces. Thank you. I got two of them. There's two more necklaces in here somewhere. We have many dates. Um, then. Five points of knowledge or another scholar. Get a water. Yeah. So I've got five points of knowledge. You buy one of those, or one of those and two of those. And remember, if you wanted to, you could spend a coin to replenish, to refresh one of the one of the colours. Right. So, what does this do? Immediately gain all of the benefits on the line between your two things, which would be some points, a three points, water. a water vendor, and a date picker, and a coin. Oh, that's quite good. Yeah, that's quite good. And this one is spend an extra date to immediately take one of those. So you take that and an additional date Correct. to take... Okay, but all this essentially gets you is... Yeah, is that. Is that. So, um, so let's do a crossing 
Boundaries. This is whenever you cross a threshold, you choose two different benefits instead of one. I don't see that very much the remainder of the game. This is the two of the river. Yeah. And this one. This is an interesting one. This allows you, when it's your turn to take Keshis from will, here, is you can take two different ones. And we've got two more turns no, left okay. of that. Mm, no, okay. I like this one. So I'm going to spend five. You can use your so five knowledge two, points, five two, knowledge dates, points two dates by that. And that immediately gives you all of this. Yeah, which is three points. Three, three points. points. One, two, three. Water One vendor. coin. Uh, a green and a red. Yeah. A date green picker and, and a water seller. So if I couldn't have taken one of these... You I just wouldn't take it. Wouldn't. Yeah. So that gives me a point. That's another point. And then... I Your green area is nearly need, full. I think I'd established that I needed this somewhere. In the green area? Yeah. Well... To fill it. Okay, and then lastly, and then that gets revealed. Ooh, this guy. How many more gates do you want to build? Well, <laughs> possibly. Well, I'm not sure I can build two because just because of constraints. Oh, no, I can put down things of the same color. I just don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You well, can always build any gate of any color. It's so what, just. So what I need? I don't particularly need that. I don't particularly need that. I do need that. So remember, if you build a green gate, you'll get a green keshi. No matter where you place the green gate, you will get a green cashy. That is a very valid point. Are you allowed to play, place more than one of the same colour? Yeah. You can always buy any gate of any colour. Okay, so I'm going to build a pink gate, which costs me so you one won money. And gets you three points. But your colour matching... You get so, that so at the I end of your spent, turn. I haven't spent any money. There's my money spent. Okay. Uh, and have, we, have, we, have I been given the points? Done the points. Done the points. Okay, so that was um, that was one thing. Yeah, and you're going to get that at the end of your turn. Um, okay, soon. Uh, then, obviously, if I build the green date, as, as you mentioned, um, that will have beneficial effects on mm -hmm. my forest, so I should do that. Green gate, uh, which, which one do you want? will cost one. So one coin for another three points. But this is not colour matching, no, so, so you don't get the two. But you do get the green worker. That goes in there. Which is, a point. which is another point. And that was that two. was that one. So that's both done. Yep. Yeah. And you place the pink keshi. You place the entertainer, and you get a water. So you've completed two areas. That turn. Yeah. That's nice. Pretty, pretty good. Okay. Lovely. Peter. Last game. <laughs> By a lot of margin. I think what we're doing is we're just selling these two, which feels like a bit of a weak move. So you sell them and you get two money and two dates. Two money and two dates. And that's it for them. Okay. And the guy in the palace? The guy in the palace. This is a little bit more promising because what is he does... this eight movements. Let's move eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I get two So you've crossed coins. two thresholds. So two coins for that. So two coins. You then get... This benefit, another three coins. Oh, wait a minute. Three coins, a guard, or five points. So if I put those there, I need one more coin in order to finish my mm -hmm. line. Can I just trust that I'm going to be able to find another coin somewhere? You, you, well, you just got the two coins, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, you're about to get another four. Oh, so right. we're, we're doing this one first, okay, but I'll after we've the, done this I'll one... Five points. Yeah, so you have five points. One, two, three, four, five. And then you reach the top. So that is one rule. You can cross multiple thresholds with one action. You now get that, which is either four coins, a keshi of your choice, or five points. I think it needs to be the red one to go here. Okay. To make sure I get one. There you go. Otherwise, that's not completed. Yeah. And that's the lot. That's it. Right. Okay. End of river. Uh, end of round scoring for the river. Which of the bonuses would you like, Peter? Um, on gold, I think. You're taking the coin? Yeah. Just to make sure. You go. Camel passes. Penultimate round. Arg. I 
I got red. Yeah. So Pink. he's going there. Right. Blue. Okay. Right. Off we go then to the tower. To the tower. Tower of Doom. Ooh. Okay, right, who's choosing first? Arthur choosing first. Okay, so there's two blues. Probably not doing a lot for me at the minute. Red. Ooh. Do I need a water wind or in a space I am hoping to complete and the answer is yes. On the other end. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think Peter's gonna take the two blue ones. Yeah. Well you might. And I'll take the the noble. Back to you, Arthur. So soon. Yeah. Right. So purple. Pink. So pink I can't use. Pink you can't take. Black. I can take green. I can't take. Oh, is that? I think I can take it's another guard. Time. That will complete your guards area, I believe. I think so, yeah. Three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight? Yeah. Uh, water cell. Yeah, nice. Oh, that's how I can do that. Okay, I'll take the black one. Okay, I'm going to take the entertainer, I'm going to put it here, I'm going to move one space up on uh, here. I should take the purple because there's only one more there to take. Which gives me green the green. Gives you a point. I get a point. Okay, actions. Arthur first. Alright, um, yeah, so this one mm -hmm. I want to promote. Are you claiming or discovering? Yeah, I'm claiming this one, I think. Yeah. So, one water and one date, and it goes there. And the bonus of that space is you can exchange one of your caches for another of your caches. But you can't exchange a brown one, you can't exchange a purple one, a yellow one, or an orange one. <laughs> okay, but I could exchange a white one, for example. You could. Um, So I'm tempted to exchange him for a brown. Oh, I can't exchange him to a brown one either. Is that no? You can. Because I can't, I can't do from, but I can do. Correct. Two. You cannot change brown, or any of the goods, and you can't exchange a beige one that's already guarding a gate, but you can exchange to them. Okay. So I think I'll do that. I'll exchange this to a brown one. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess you get that back. I'll have a brown one, please. Get that one. Get that one. Um, and then I guess I will take the two, two points. points. Okay. That was one action. Yep. Why on earth did I go there? Well, you could have claimed any other ones if you'd wanted at the same time. Oh, at the same time? At the same ah, time. Ah, ah, okay. You can claim multiple oases, because I claimed all five of these with one action. Right, so this is no good to me because I'm nowhere near the top. And I haven't crossed. You've still only crossed three. And I'm not likely. So the benefit to you for claiming them would be to unlock these spaces, yeah. possibly. Yeah, no, you're right. So, but I can't take the pink. No, you just you just throw it away. Yeah. Um, right, I thought I triggered it. What triggered this? Oh, uh, me doing that. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I've given you the white one, haven't I? You did, and I gave you the brown, brown one in exchange. And I put it on there. So it's on. Oh, you were it's whether you I want to claim in addition. In well, any I'm, others. I suppose it costs me points to do that, doesn't it? Because half a point per thing you yeah. spend. Well, it, it's on whether the off that's chance, yeah. any good. Oh, I could claim more than one. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, okay. So so that allows you to pick up one of these yellow ones. Yeah, ones. and whether they're any good to you or not, I don't know. Um, that's potentially stuff to spend. 
But yeah, you'd have to claim one oasis to unlock that space first, which wouldn't do anything, and then another one to unlock that one. So you'd have to spend quite a bit to claim those two. Well, let's let's do it so I've got the opportunity. It's only cost me one money. Okay, so one money to put that in, which gets you the pink cashy, but which you can't it put it anywhere, so it goes away. Um, and then we're down to here. So we've got three on three on the river. You can spend water to move more if you want to. Right, there we go. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Uh, I shall save my water. <laughs> okay. And then you've got the guy in the souk. Uh, yeah. So this is probably... Uh, okay, so there is a sandal available. There is a sandal available, which, which is a net four points for you. Um, could I buy anything else? Yes, I could buy this. Which is... Dagger. Yeah, so that's a net four and a half points to you. That's seven points. Yeah. Uh, no, in fact, minus two goods, it's six points. So that, that's one and a half points worth more than, than that. But I might yet have another opportunity to buy. So, so yeah. I will take the sandal for... Yeah. What was it? Uh, one purple. One purple. One carpet for one sandal. So two points and a coin. Now we have an empty stack. So what we do is I'm just going to pick the biggest stack. I'm going to put those on there and then reveal the next one. Still no necklaces. Someone said earlier a lamp was something that was stationary and a lantern was something you can carry around. Okay. But, but those lamps. But th those are lamps yeah. and can be carried around. Yeah. Okay, you're all done? Yeah. Peter. I think we've got you to the top of both tracks, haven't we? Wow. Well, this is a spectacular failure um, because all I'm going to do is get a guard. Get a guard. I'm not going to yeah. be able to use. Okay. So yeah. I, I did the same last time. <laughs> um, here, uh, I'll get four dates. Four dates. Yep. Yeah. One, two, three, four. And what about the guy in the mosque? The guy in the mosque. Interesting. Do you want the the extra cleric for ten points, or do you want to move seven spaces up the mosque, which is going to get you potentially more? How many points do you get for a completed area, by the way? Ten. Ten. Okay. Well, I will do this. So one, one two, two, three, three. gets you the coin, and yeah. then gets you one of those two bonuses. Sorry, one of those three bonuses, which is seven points, two cash is the same, or four coins. Two grey ones, I think. Okay, two grey ones. Thank you. So that was three movement. And then you had another four movement, which is four additional points. One, yeah. two, three, four. It's interesting, you got to the top of that. Yeah, so then, then I get. Well, I've, I've done that, haven't I? Yeah. yeah. I've done that. There's two grey ones. So that's another two area complete. Points. Yeah. Okay, and that's me. Okay, right. So I've got uh, this. Oh, I should have taken a water for that. And I'm going to rotate this, and I'm going to go three spaces up the mosque. So, one, two, three. I get a coin. I also get that, that, and that, <laughs> which is a water, a coin, and one space up the river. Oh, very good. Then I'm going to activate this one, uh, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, which is a coin. Then... A water, a coin, and one space up the river. And one of these. And then... Oh, sorry, I didn't do... I didn't do that, did I? When I moved that one up. Probably not. Hang on. If anybody's watching, what did I just do? I think I just went over here. Yeah, I went, I went over this threshold, and I did the coin, I did that, and I did that, but I forgot to do this. Yeah. So I should have done that first. I'll take the three points. Right, now I've reached this section, and now I'm doing this. And... What have I got behind here? Um... I think I'm going to take the three points again. Because I don't really need that, and I don't really need that. So yeah, it's going to be another three points. 
Okay, so that's those two, and then I've got this one, and I am going to move up. Oh, I get a water. Right, and then I'm going to move up two spaces along the river. Now, do I want to spend a water? To get the water. Well, it's also to move further ahead in case Arthur decides to... Because I can't remember what Arthur's got behind his screen. Uh. So I don't quite know whether Arthur is able to move up even further. And I'm trying to think what I might need that water for. No, I need the water. Because I've got to claim that. Because claiming that is effectively worth 13 points. So I'm going to keep the water. Right. We're done. End of round bonus. Me and Arthur both get a point. Three. Peter, you can have one point or three points. I think I'll choose three points. Please, three. three. <laughs> Camel passes for the final time. And we're about to start the last round of the game. Okay. And thank you, chat, for telling me that I forgot. But yeah, I worked out. Travis is asking if I've cheated yet. No. <laughs> I made a massive mistake in the um, uh, the Amsterdam playthrough, which was hilarious. We corrected it by the end, but it was uh, somewhat embarrassing. Now then. Oh, I didn't need that there. <sighs> what are you putting in? And who's choosing first? Me. Oh, I might get another... Oh, no, I can't. Where am I on the thing? Oh, this is a tricky one. I mean, that is a guaranteed eight dates, which is four points. But four points seems... Seems a little weak. It really depends what I'm going to get. Um, I'm going to go here. Okay, right. Right, final taking of pieces. What have we got? And at this stage, we've probably got lots of things that people can't take. So Peter, you can't take white or grey. I can't take green. Arthur, you can't take pink or green. Or, or which is not yeah, the beige. Right, okay. So what does everybody else want? Everything. <laughs> I need a brown to complete this area, but I've got that there, so I can do that. Uh, I want white to try and complete this area, but I also need red, so yeah. I think I'm going to take that black because it completes that area. Yeah. And is a solid. So I'm I'm going to take the brown, but I can only take one brown. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, I'm going to take the brown, but I can only take one brown. And there is only one brown, so that's fine. So I get two points. You get to discover your final oasis. Much good it will do. Three, uh, four ice creams give you seven points, or something. Like yeah, that. yeah. Uh, if your fisherman is parked at a jetty, you get seven points at the end of the game. And um, I also need a blue. So, oh... Ooh. What are people going to take? <laughs> um, I think I'm going to take the red. Tricky choices. Okay, so I think I... Pink I cannot take, yellow I could take, orange I could take, white I could take, and grey I could take, but neither white nor grey. I don't know, white. Give me two steps, which is not enough. Can I do anything? I will yeah. take the yellow. Uh, uh, yeah, Zeripir is asking, can green take all of the bonuses from the river? So no, so Peter's special tile 
is an end of the season tile. He will get all of the bonuses, but at the end of each round, he can only choose one of them. Oh, he can't take the white. And there was much rejoicing. <laughs> So I could use that and take a white and complete the area, which is actually 14 points for me. Which is better than moving seven steps up there, I can think. I have, can I have two points, please? Two points. <coughs> and you can't take the grey. Not that that helps. Right. Final actions of the game, starting with Peter. Off you go. Well. It's come to this. <laughs> what can I actually do with him? Uh, you can take a Caravan Keshi and put it on the already discovered oasis and get two points. It's probably your best move. Already discovered oasis? The one down in the bottom left. This one? Yeah. Oh. Because claiming that isn't going to get you any points. It will get you the water vendor. If you but claim. I could, could, you could discover that, but then if you I can't place claim a guy it. on there, I can't claim Correct. it as well. Yeah. Right, so I'll take the two points. Un unless, as I say, placing this is going to help you, you complete put, a, you an area. Lamp, you could put your lamp thing in play. Do no, because I haven't got any. No, lamps. he hasn't got any lamps. We'll, we'll give you a water in as quick as it Yeah. So two points. Yeah. Two points. Okay. So that's that one done. Um, down here. There's no point taking another entertainer because it's not going to get you anything. You might as well rotate and get. So I'll rotate. And what am I going to get? That's worth a point. That's worth a point. That's, that's worth two, two points. points. That's worth two points. Two points. It's probably two points. Yeah. So two points. Two points. Okay. Whereas this one is eight points. Uh, well, a water. So I get a water. And then do you want to move 11 spaces? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Which is 11 points. Yep. Right, okay. Have you ever seen somebody go 11 spaces beyond the end of the river? <laughs> it must be some kind of record. You're all done. I'm done. Finished. That's right. Uh, my go, I am going to use this assistant here with one water, one date, and one money to claim this oasis, which goes there, which gets me an immediate seven points. Uh, that's it for that one. I then use this one, and I think we've worked it out. If I was to move seven spaces up, one, two, three, four. Are you allowed there? Yeah, and get three points, and then five, six, seven. Fight him off with a sword. I, I'm better to just use it to recruit another noble, which gets me 14 yeah. at the end of the game for that. Very and good. then finally, I've got this one, um, and I'm just going to sell this orange for two dates. For a half a point bonus. <laughs> right. Yeah, I could have just used it to take a carpet or something, which would, again would have been half a point. But that's it for me. Arthur, final turns of the game. Right, we'll go up three on the um, mosque. Oh, hang on, hang on. The chat is saying... Yeah, yeah. If you don't mind, if I do, if I do a slight undo, instead of taking the white cashy... I do move seven. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven is three points. I get the coin. I get another coin. I get a water. And I'm going to move up the river. And I take that bonus there, which is the white cashy. Thank you, chap. <laughs> Effectively, I got another yeah. four points from it, yeah. I think. Good. Yeah, thank you. Well done for spotting that. Right, we will climb the mosque. Three steps, sadly, which does nothing. Nope. Um, we will climb the um, other thing, one step, which does nothing. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, we will go to the souk and console our sorrows. Um, some retail therapy. Right. <laughs> Buy uh, the best thing you can. Yeah, what well, have we got? Three orange, a yellow, and a purple. It's It's one of the daggers, I think. Yeah, or, well, obviously I'll take the seven, seven point point. Oh, I see the different... They're, they're all daggers are seven points. So I can't get that with my two yellows. Two orange and a yellow? Yeah. There you go. Have a dagger. Right. Interesting. Right. We all fizzled a little bit at the end. Yeah. With some well, I think I was like, 
I've done all the high priority stuff here. Yeah. yeah. I kind of fizzled at the beginning, so uh, <laughs> it was a steady right. state for me. First of all, end of round bonuses. So I get either that or that. I'll have a point. I'll have a point. Arthur, you get a point. Peter? Three points. One, two, three. Right. End of season stuff. First of all, who's the furthest ahead? Me. Seven points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next is blue. One, two, three. That's that done. We then have to take care of all of the needs of our people. Do I get these as well? Or do we not do that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get all the bonuses. We've all taken care of the needs of our people, so we don't need to worry about that. Yeah, so your tile gets you all of the bonuses. So that's another four points. Uh, and a resource. And a good. Uh, the resource can be... doesn't matter. And the good doesn't matter. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yeah. So I've given you a lamp. Thank you. Okay. So we've done that. I think we now do end of game scoring. So, first of all, completed areas, which is eight caches of the colour and the water vendor. I got three. So from 96 to 126. Okay, Arthur. I got one, two, three. Three. Four. So 40 points, yep. so 68 to 108. Peter? I've got four. Four completed areas. You've got the black one, the white one, the grey one, and the blue one. Nice. So 87 to 127. All right, can we just stop counting now? Please? Nope. <laughs> because I've got a lot of Oasis tiles, so I'm just going to show these. I've got six claimed Oasis but I can only choose three of them. Now, I, that one is worth 12 points to me, so I think that's probably best. That one's worth 12 points to me. That one is worth 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 11 points. So even though I bought that one at the end, I'm not going to use it, because it's actually only worth 3, 4, 5. That's worth 7. You've got your 7 points there for covering. Exactly. So it, it's 12, 12, 11. So it's 35. 35 points. 35 plus 26 is 51. 61? 61. 61. 61. Yeah. I believe so. Um, Arthur, which three do you want to... Not that one. Not that one. Okay, so... So this one get two points. Two points for every brown, red or beige gate. So two points. Right, so brown gates. Yep. Yeah. Red and beige. Is it red or is it orange? Yeah, that's orange. It's orange. Uh, I'm not sure I've got a beige one. So just two points. Two points, yep. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. I have to spend those resources. Thank you, Ulrich. So I don't get the the half points for each of them at the end. Two. So two points for that one. Yeah. That one is two points per slipper. You have four slippers, so eight points. Eight points. And that one is 11. Yeah. Yeah, 129. Okay. Peter? This won't take very long. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get any. You didn't get any Oasis three, tiles. Yeah. Right. I can only use three. Three out of... Three out of zero. zero. Right. Remaining resources. Three so points. I have one, two... I have three points... From remaining resources. And we don't count these, no? Yeah. Yeah. Re resources and goods. Okay. Oh, so we do count these? Yes. So four, I think. So four points and three points uh, for three. Three for me. There you go. So 164, which is about what I scored this afternoon. I think I scored somewhere around here. Um, there was a lot there, there. Yeah, <laughs> 133, 130. Hmm. That's in and there you go. That's that's Marrakesh. That that's how you play it. Now you've seen most of the rules. There are definitely a few bits that you need to remember when you're playing the game. One, when you move up the river, you can spend water to move more. Uh, the other one, which we didn't mention until later on, whenever you're buying these uh, scrolls, you can spend a coin to take the top three of one color and put them on the bottom. 
there's a few bits like that in the game that you need to keep an eye out for. Seven points for the dagger, Arthur. Oh, yeah, this turn I bought a dagger. Didn't Did I? we forget Arthur's seven yeah. points? Yeah, I think you're right. There you go, 140. You just add to the humiliation. <laughs> you? 140. Thank you, Ufo. Um, yeah, three. thank you very much, Ulrich, for that. Um, but yeah, so I've not really done these tiles much. So I thought I wanted to try doing them in this game. And even though I was taking some of the ones which I wasn't going to score, they still unlocked the bonuses. Um, yeah. Well, the first one I turned over was for lamps, and I didn't see and, any lamps, yeah. and that kind of dented my enthusiasm, so I didn't bother with those anymore. <laughs> There's loads of lamps. I got tons of... I got. I, I maxed out pretty much on here and here and That's here. it. You got to the top of the palace, you got to the top of the mosque... But it didn't do me any good. You did good. really well with the river. I, well, I messed up massively with these. I did manage to do... This was really good, mm -hmm. but I messed up with this because I didn't manage to get another tile with it I, I just mistimed everything I right. put it, and I didn't manage to do anything so that potentially could have got me some more points but it was really I think you I don't I don't really see how you can do particularly well without getting some of these at least um, yeah there's a lot of different things going on there's a lot of different yeah. ways of scoring points but you did complete four areas mm. and you completed three areas yeah. you completed four areas as well yeah but certainly, yeah, those scoring tiles. I mean, I was quite lucky in the end that it all worked out that that I got that because that was fourteen points. But I thought that getting to that the move, top yeah. of here and then just banging on the end of it, getting loads of points, was going to. I thought so too. Be because you get strong. the four for getting there, and then at the end of every round you get three. So doing that and getting loads of points from these, yeah, I thought between those three, it was going to bring me and make me competitive. Mm. I knew that you were getting loads of points in the end game, yeah. for those which I wasn't getting. What did I Oasis get? Thirty-five. Tile. Thirty-five points. Yeah. Yeah, I got thirty-five points from my Oasis tiles at the end. This thing because the discount on gates was quite good. That was really good. That yeah. was a great turn. On yeah, that was really good, and that's where the variability mm. comes in in the game. Obviously, you've got variability in terms of the gates are placed in a random position, but that's a minor thing. Yeah. These scrolls, which of these scrolls come out? Because uh, these scrolls give you powers, ongoing benefits or immediate yeah. benefits. That Which ones you get of those can kind of change your strategy as well. Um, yeah? Maybe because that and that and that, that and that and that were separate and there wasn't really any synergy between them. There wasn't any... Somehow you managed to gain extra points by finding a way of... You know, combining things and um, I just did, didn't. They yeah, I mean, right. one of one of the things was, uh, and Ulrich mentioned this earlier on in the chat. I was gaining lots of dates. Yeah. But I wasn't using the dates to buy scrolls. Was that a mistake? And it wasn't because what I was doing is I knew I needed a lot of dates for this. Yeah. But I had the end game tile, which allowed me to give in up to twelve dates. Yeah. So I was just collecting the dates in the hope to buy that. But I did spend a few of them, and getting these three was really nice because mm. then every time I cross a threshold I get lots of free stuff. Um but and that's I found the first myself time I've done that. struggling to fill these every turn. It was I was like a day late and a dollar short <laughs> or a date a date late maybe and a dollar short every every time I was having to struggle to fill no, them. I think it was an argument of not doing them at all. That's one possibility is is not do them, just use the resources for other things. Mm. A bit like stone and age just bothering yeah. to feed you. So if you think about it, if if you certainly the first one only costs you four points. Yeah, if you can do something else with these resources that gets you twelve points, yeah, then do that other thing and, and don't bother with those. Um, it is yeah, it is one of those things. You don't have to do this if you want to. You can not do this and pay the cost. Anyway, we we are finished. Um, so yeah, thank you very much to you two for joining me for this afternoon's learning game. Thank you. And and for this, this live stream as well. Thank you to everybody who's watching live and thank you for everybody keeping us honest with uh, with a couple of the, the, the tweaks, that, a couple of the mistakes that we made during the play. Uh, it's always difficult doing these live playthroughs because obviously keeping an eye on the chat, keeping an eye on the stream, playing the game and everything else, I do occasionally miss something. So that's what the live chat is for. Uh, and as I mentioned, if somebody watches the video back afterwards and says, oh, Paul, you forgot... 20 points or something like that, then I'll add the Klingon subtitles in. Just before I disappear, just wanted to say a big thank you to Queen Games for sponsoring this series of videos. This is the fourth in the series. Uh, this is the end of the current series of videos, because uh, these four games are going to be out soon. But there are going to be four more games in the Steffenfeld City Collection, uh, and I hope to be covering uh, the next four games. So we've got Cuzco and Vienna, which are games five and six, and games seven and eight I'm not allowed to talk about. Um, 
but yeah, they'll they'll be coming soon, but they want to get these four delivered and out there and getting played. Um, it's been a pleasure, obviously, to play them because I'm a massive fan of Stefan Feld. So yeah, thank you for that. And as I mentioned earlier on, a big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters for funding the channel. If you like the content that I create, obviously leave me a comment, give the video a thumbs up. But if you are in a position to be able to support me on Patreon, it's patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Right then, nice early night, mm. nice early finish. <laughs> so yeah, thank you again to you two. Thank you for everybody for watching. Good night, and we'll see you next time. Oh, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>